welcome to my stream. How you guys doing today? Happy Friday! Oh my gosh, give me a second. Ah, get myself reacquainted there. There. How you guys doing? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me say hi to everybody. Um, number one, thank you, Miyu, for the raid. Thank you, thank you for the raid. I hope you enjoyed Stardew Valley. Flex, thank you, comrade. <laughs> Thank you, comrade, for uh, 20 months um, of uh, tier 1 subscription. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Flex, and thank you, Miu. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. Hello, Rose. Hello, Gumper. Hello, Coffee. Hello, Babo. Hello, Boon. Hello, Locker. Hello, These Nuts. Hello, Co uh, I already said hi to Coffee. Who else is here? Um, hello, Miu. Hello, Ramen. Hello, Felingor. Hello, Flex. Hello, Niv. Hello, Kiwan. Hello, Tarmi. Okay, hi, everybody. Hello, Emu. <laughs> Hello. Bell, save me. I'm babysitting. Are you sitting on the baby? <laughs> Hello, Slane. How are you guys doing today? Doesn't it cover her men? It was all the way. It was <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Um, you should totally listen to the cover that Flex did for my birthday. Um, Flex did a remix of um, sim uh, Symphony for the no Sympathy for the Devil. Fuck, Sympathy for the Devil. Um, I sang that, and Flex and um, and Flex helped me do the. Uh, who was the one who did the drums again, Flex? Um, Flex helped me do the remix for that song. It was really really good. And Flex, if you have that link, post it in the chat, please. That one's really good. You said hello to Ito, I take one back. Okay, I take one back. Ah, I hope you guys are doing great. Um, hello, f wait, is Founder here? Well, hello, Founder. If I, I, I don't think Founder is here, but... Hi! No, I'm not sitting on them, okay. Well, you should sit on them. Maybe then they'd behave. Me. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Thank you so much for coming around. Coming on, um, coming here on stream. Um, it is the weekend, everybody, so you don't see founder. Okay. Oh, thank you, Niv. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's the that's the cover. You should try. You should totally watch that, cause Flex did a fantastic job for my birthday. Thank you, Flex. <laughs> ah, I'm so tired. <laughs> But it is Friday, and it means it's Pokemon Friday, everybody. So we're going to be continuing our Pokemon Nuzlocke today. Uh, so that's that's going to be fun. Um, for very surprisingly, we have not restarted the entire Nuzlocke yet. Very surprisingly. Um, we've had two deaths though, negligent deaths. Deaths by negligence um, because of chat. <laughs> <laughs> because of you guys, okay, I was talking to you guys and I completely forgot to check the uh, check my Pokemon health. So, summon crow, yes, summon crow did the grumps. Thank you. Yes, for a second I forgot. Um, Flex and summon crow, summon crow did the remix with the drums, and Flex did the overall remix music production of the whole thing. Thank you, guys. It's very difficult to actually do drums. Um, very very difficult to do drums after. Um, the singer sings the song because <laughs> well if especially if the singer is me who is really bad with keeping time right <laughs> next time I'm gonna get my office get office drummer wow I don't think office drummer would, would drum to, to, to my songs he's too high level <laughs> he's too awesome he's not gonna he's not gonna <laughs> he's not gonna do it <laughs> he's too high level oh man the day Belle learns to dono all is the day she becomes ultimate king. <laughs> I have him on stream in two weeks. Well, I have him to sh on stream in two weeks. Well, that's cool. But, um, yeah. I still don't think he will accept it. But yeah, okay, you can try. Um, I hope you guys had a fantastic week today. Uh, this week. If I sit on them, they might wake up and I don't really want to wake up. Okay, if, okay, you see. Then, then, then you don't have a problem, you. All you have to do is be as quiet as a mouse. Just don't talk. 
Just don't do anything with sudden noises. Don't wake them up. Or better yet, just stuff them in a in a in a soundproof room. Just completely stuff them in a soundproof room. Lock the door. And then you're and then you're safe. Me you and then you're safe. <laughs> Welcome back, Rose. Hello, villain of legend. Hello, Cockerel. How are you guys doing? So don't listen to stream without headphones. Yeah, don't listen to stream without headphones. Uh, so <laughs> it looks like you guys are having a great um, Friday, though. All of you seem to be in high spirits. That's great. Um, what we're we playing today? We're playing Pokemon, and we're doing a Nuzlocke, a Nuzlocke of Pokemon. Kiwi, how are you doing? Oh, 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 Miu, maybe, maybe this can make you feel better. Uh, maybe, maybe this Miu may, will make you feel better. Next week, uh, we'll be having Belly, okay? And next week, I am doing your song for Belly, okay? Would that make you feel better? <laughs> Does that make you feel any better? <laughs> I'm on speakers, bye, I guess. Oh, no! Okay, if you're on speakers, I'm gonna try to be less noisy. I'm gonna try to scream less. Panzer Soul, how are you doing? Songless is getting long. Songless is actually being cut down quite a bit. Um, it's in it's in the low low forties, I think. So it's okay. You went into hiding for the last hour of work to skip the bullshit. Nice. You're all right. Work as usual, but you're alive. Okay. Yeah, it's in the low forties, which is quite okay. I'm at least maintaining it. A low forties is. <laughs> hey, but hey, it was much higher before. All right, my granddad's asleep and he can sleep through the rapture. Really? You're okay. I need to. I need. To, okay. There. So I saw D Green's post on my on my Discord the other day. I didn't comment on it, but um, because I think I was playing Metal Gear Solid and then Final Fantasy, I I was too engrossed in the game. I completely forgot. Okay. So D Green said that his niece. Okay. The the story I read with D Green and and and. Uh, D Green's niece wanting um, to hear Purple Bell was the cutest thing I've ever heard but also makes me feel completely responsible um, because I've been shouting vulgarities <laughs> all this time and people who are near you can hear them and I just like <laughs> now I feel horrible <laughs> now I feel horrible there are kids near you I can't, I, I can't even swear now I can't swear now. Now I can't swear. Um, someone wrote my name wrongly in an official document. Oh no. Yeah, shit like that happens. I hate it when that happens. I hate it when they address office emails to you and then they sign off with... They say, dear blah blah blah, right? And the name is completely wrong. And I'm like, dude, you got my name right when you when you sent me when you wrote down my email address. My name is practically in my fucking email address, right? So why 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 can't you just copy that and and copy that for the email text body, dear blah blah blah? I mean, I don't understand sometimes. In in office, I don't understand. I don't understand why in office people. Um, misspell your name especially there since there's like an office directory where you can check and double check and also if you're just replying to a previous person's email okay that, that previous person's email th that person would have signed off at the bottom right literally has to copy and paste that name right i don't understand how are you doing dusk do you have some <laughs> I mean, there are three kids near me, so cut. I will not cuss. I will try my best not to cuss. I will. I will attempt to be more responsible in my streams from now onwards, guys. Coffee time. Okay, I hope you enjoy your coffee. Um, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be more responsible for my streams because there are gonna be kids near you guys. I mean, I don't know. Maybe some of you are dads. Some of you are babysitting. Some of you have your cousins, like your younger cousins. Or like your nieces, nephews, whatever. Okay, I don't want to be held responsible for them learning how to cuss and swear like a sailor. <laughs> uh, so yeah. <sighs> when were you ever irresponsible? Aww, that's sweet. 
I'm usually kind of irresponsible. Um, anyway, hi everybody. Uh, do you want to hear about my day? Uh, the FBI agent watching my internet feed watches you now. Fuck me. <laughs> All kids hear their parents. So... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know kids hear their parents, but I'm always under the impression that parents are always, always watch what they say and they're really good about watching what they say with their kids. So, I don't know. Kids have already watched South Park. Is South Park still a thing with kids these days? I don't know. Belle doesn't want to teach kids new words. <laughs> Particularly swear words? I don't want to teach teach kids swear words no but the kids know more swear words already <laughs> i just feel fucking guilty if they learn it from me most parents i know will say that they watch their speech but they rarely do yeah i'll be i'll be very honest i told you that, that one time um not that one time every time my best friend comes with uh you know visits me during christmas with her niece i am <laughs> This, especially when her niece was younger, right? I swore in front of her niece and I felt horrible right after that. My best friend was like, you know what? It's okay, don't worry about it, it's fine. But I was like, no, I can't believe I swore I'm an irresponsible adult! I can't... I can't. Uh, sounds like parents' responsibility to keep their kids out of cussing streams. I, I, yeah. I guess, but still, I like to take responsibility for everything, as you guys can see. I try my best. <laughs> when I was teaching 10th grade in the UK, the first thing they asked me was how to swear in Greek. Wow. I, I don't know how to swear in Greek, but I bet it would sound interesting. Half the chat act like kids here, but yet you swear all the time. I <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so moral of the story, I should watch watch what I say, right? I should totally watch what I say, and I shouldn't scream so much, right, guys? I mean, Flex already has me as one of the loudest VTubers. I should I should really <laughs> stop screaming. <laughs> ah! <sighs> but you know, you know, Tommy, you say this, but you know, you know, the funny thing is that if I'm Conversing normally, I don't swear as much. I really don't. As much as I, I do on stream. I don't swear as much as I do on stream. I have gotten less loud, that is good to hear. But you know, it still could be improved. I agree on the streaming part, but not the cussing part, okay. Okay. I know way louder streamers than you, you're like the middle of the road in that aspect. <laughs> Uh, okay I'm about to tell you about the um, about my day that I had today which was horrid and I got <laughs> I swear a lot in real life but on streams I don't okay that's nice <laughs> swear don't swear just feel free to do whatever you want yeah okay I mean the thing is you just need to feel comfortable right I I, I think I think <sighs> I don't think I don't think um, stopping myself from cussing is going to be it's going to be uncomfortable for me right so i'm just gonna do what i usually do but i will watch um my volume my mom asked me once because you were yelling and she asked did she die again wait really <laughs> your mom knows i suck at games Wait, your mom watches my stream? <laughs> no! <laughs> well, okay, if at least she knows that I have shown her your streams. Oh my god. Well, okay, if at least she doesn't say anything else, right? At least she's fine with you watching my streams. Then I must be doing something right, at least. She's... <laughs> uh... How are you doing, Rod? I had the worst day today. Um, but I gotta thank one of my mods for doing an awesome job in helping me through my worst day today. 
Oh, v, v Gaming Junkie, how are you doing? V Gaming Junkie, how are you doing? I bet it's Friday. It is Friday, but I, it was still a hard day. Cogrill's mom. Yeah, hi, Cogrill's mom. Thank you for being awesome. I'm sorry I swear a lot, but thank you for being a great sport, um, Cogrill's mom. <laughs> hi, Baltard, how are you doing? <sighs> uh, you see me, I'm fine, and you, I am doing good. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing good too on this wonderful Friday. How are you doing, Rod? Oh, it's her, the one with skill issues. Yes. <laughs> She's fine, but she always tells me you are always choosing the loud ones. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I'm sorry. I'll try to. I'll try to reduce my screaming. <laughs> I don't want to be known as a wild one, a loud one. Uh, okay. So today, I was on leave. I woke up. And I told myself, I, I told myself, um, you know what? Let's watch some. You be <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I look. I'm just. I'm. I. I've always been trying. Like for the past uh, couple of months, I've been trying to reduce my volume, just so that uh, the quality of the of my streams get better audio in audio wise. Also, so that my voice doesn't die so much. Uh, Otherwise, it's hard to sing and things like that, right? I got a scare after I completely lost my voice that, that time. I could not speak at all. I've never had that, never had that happen to me before. So I was really scared that time. Um, so yeah, that, that kind of like spurred this whole thing on. And I will continue with doing that, right? Um, of course, you know, sometimes when I, when games... <laughs> And I get frustrated with games or with you guys. Sometimes I scream and um, that happens, right? So I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna force that to not happen or anything, okay? So yeah, okay? Sigi Mix, how are you doing? Okay, so... Today, I woke up. I was like, oh, I'm on leave today. Let's watch some Lore and Order, okay? So I decided to... Uh, what I usually do is I hook up my... TV to my PC, right? I hook up my TV to my PC, and um, you know I stream. I I I I pull up a source where I can watch Law and Order on my PC, and you know put it up in my P on, on my wonderful awesome TV and watch Law and Order, right? This is what I usually do. Okay, so I tried doing that today. <laughs> I, hey, Law and Order is not adult stuff, okay? It's at most maybe PG. Okay? It's fine. It's family friendly. If you guys like, like, homicide shit. But it's family friendly. It is say so. Read your voice of the game experience. <laughs> no, it's not true. <laughs> okay, she says... She now she says now she'll be quiet. Next five minutes, she'll be like, fuck this game. No, I don't usually say that for Pokemon. Pokemon is usually fine. Swaggy so, Star, how are you doing? Look, user says, <laughs> Felinger is very unsafe today. Um, Babo is, um, Babo, you, you try to game the system, but the, the system, the Seiso system knew, knew better. Um, thank you for the hit pets. Okay, I, I still haven't told you my story. Okay, so, I took, the, I took the HDMI cable, which I usually do, plugged it into my PC, and then I fucking realized nothing was working. Nothing was working. Nothing was working. I was panicking. So I was like, fuck, nothing is working. At first I was like, okay, maybe it's a cable problem. And I changed two other cables, new new cables. And it was the same thing that happened. I was like, okay, maybe it's the HDMI port. I tried various ports, still wasn't fucking working. Why? And, and then um, after panicking for uh, a few hours, um <laughs> No, I did not I did not I did not uh I, I, I try everything possible, even turning it off and turning it on. Okay, obviously it's fine now because I'm streaming now. It's obviously fine now because I, I play Pokemon on my TV. It's obviously fine now, guys, okay? Uh but yeah, so I I called one of my mods, I was like, Nexiel, help me! <laughs> So you guys don't know, but a lot of behind the scenes things, like whenever I have like tech problems, I'm always like, Nexiel, help me! <laughs> you guys don't know. 
guys don't know this, but it's true. Every time I fucking computer issues, I'm like on the phone. Nexia, fucking help me! <laughs> and Nexia helped me for like four hours debugging the entire fucking problem. Uh, so yes, thank you, Nexia. <laughs> Like four hours. Turns out um, there was something wrong with the HDR signal. It wasn't properly. Um, I don't know. It was something wrong with the audio and something wrong with the HDR signal, basically. Okay. Uh, he solved it on uh, fr from the computer and he solved it. So I was like, okay, whatever. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> because at one point it was like the video was working, everything was fine, but the audio was like super slowed down. Uh, and, and I was like, why is the audio so fucking weird? And then uh, after lots and lots and lots and lots of debugging, I finally realized that um, the TV can only take... Uh, the, 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 my TV soundbar can only take uh, a certain frequency. So I had to set it to a certain frequency, which is kind of weird. I had to set it to like 441 kilohertz or something like that. And I was like, okay. So that was the thing that was completely messed up the audio sampling uh, rate and frequency and I was like, okay, thank you. Four or five hours of so next year, can you tell us what Bell did to fuck this up? <laughs> I didn't <laughs> I'll tell you what I told him. I took the I took the HDMI cable and plugged it in like always and then nothing worked. Oh my god, so every time I have tech issues, guys, Nexiel, Nexiel helps me. So yeah, thank you, Nexiel. Nexiel does a lot of behind the scenes uh, shit that you guys don't know. Y7, how are you doing? So. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt 500 characters is enough. I think so. I'm not sure if Nexiel is here. I think he's had enough of my shit. He's had enough of my shit. He spent like five hours on the fucking phone debugging with me. I don't think... I think it's enough of this shit for today. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, he's like, I did my fucking time. How are you doing, Y7? How are you doing, Phantom? How are you doing? Yeah, so that was my entire day today, guys. I thought I had a hard time with you. But this guy has to deal with you, yes. So, uh, that's actually true. So, it's, it's even worse. <laughs> And you wonder why Nexiel doesn't doesn't um, help out in chat very often. It's because I give him a lot of hell before stream, guys. <laughs> I give him so much hell before stream. <laughs> Any tech problems? My TV is not working. My cables are not working. How come my OBS is not working anymore? <laughs> He's my tech guy. Um, so. Yeah, the mods mods do awesome jobs. So mods are all great, guys. Never, never, always appreciate. Always, always, always appreciate mods. They do fantastic jobs. I <laughs> I try to pay them. Honestly, I try to pay them. They refuse to. They refuse to fucking take any money from me. Why seven? Um. You can okay, Y7. You can thank Killers for that emote. Killers commissioned Stealthy, Stealthy Mouse, for that wonderful emote that you see right there. So you can you can um, justice for Six. What did Sigamik say? I don't even know. What did what did Sigamik what what did founder? Unpaid position. <laughs> founder, it's true though. I don't pay you for the position. Hey Juan and Frost, how are you guys doing? I want to pay them, trust me. I'll take any opportunity to any chance I get. Any, any hole, any fucking loophole I see, I will take it and I will try to pay them shit. Or do something, right? And they always refuse. Every day is mod appreciation day, yes. Can we get all the hearts in the chat and the pet the mods uh, emotes in the chat, guys, for all the mods in my chat? Um, for my for my awesome mods, Nexiel, um, Locker, and Founder. Also, for all of you mods who are mods in other people's um, streams, you guys too. You guys are fantastic. So yeah, could we get could we get all that? Could we get all the? 
<laughs> pet the mods. How come I can't find my pet the mods on mine? That's so shit. Why can't I see my emotes? Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys. Pet the mods. There we go. <laughs> yeah! Thank you mods. Y'all are awesome. I'm, I have to do it the old fashioned way. For some reason, I can't see the l drop down list of my emotes. There we go. I like the mods. They bully the streamer. <laughs> they bully the streamer yet keep order in the chat. It's amazing. So, wait, there are communities that respect their mods? <laughs> as much shit as I give them, I do. So, <laughs> it's okay because for one month I have. The best sip emote on Twitch. What best sip emote on Twitch? Why what what one month? What best is it sip emote on Twitch? What's the best sip emote on Twitch? Oh, is that the best sip emote on Twitch? That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. I like that one. Oh man. But anyway, I hope you guys had a less stressful Friday than mine and i hope you guys are starting off your friday or ending off your friday on a fantastic note okay <laughs> that was the story okay um i want to tell you guys something yeah tomorrow tomorrow is my mom's birthday <laughs> her birthday is always on like mother's day Absolutely, it's always near Mother's Day. It's always a pleasure being here and you're always welcoming. Aww. Yeah, tomorrow is my mom's birthday. Uh, it, it's, it's also Mother's Day this coming uh, Sunday. I don't know if it's Mother's Day every in all parts of the world, but it's Mother's Day where I'm at. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Happy birthday, mom! Yeah, happy birthday, mom! Happy birthday! She's gonna watch this, so she will hear this and see this. <laughs> yeah, you guys can wish tomorrow. I'm streaming tomorrow. We're celebrating her birthday and Mother's Day on Sunday, so we're good. Yeah, it's Mother's Day on Sunday too. Okay, great. Happy birthmas to the bell mom. Aw, that's cute. Happy Mother's Day. I'm not a mom! Fuck you, Sigamix! There. Fuck you. <sighs> but yeah, um it's my mom's birthday tomorrow. Uh initially I, I didn't know if I was gonna stream, but uh it looks like we're celebrating on Sunday instead, so uh we're good to stream tomorrow. We're good for streams tomorrow. Um since I'm celebrating with the family on uh Sunday. Belle has mom energy but like wine like a What? A what huh? I have mom energy? Fuck you, Flex! Not your fucking mom! Uh, just in case, gonna send you a birthday song for mom. Aw, that's so sweet! Thank you! I, I will play it for her. Get off stream and take her to dinner, you ungrateful child. Hey! I already bought her a fucking $80 cake! Okay? I'm getting her some presents tomorrow when I go out to town. Okay, I'm not fucking ungrateful. Fuck you, Niv. Uh! <laughs> Why would I make a cake when I can get her a nice designer cake? Did I hit eighty dollar cake? Yes, it's a very nice cake. Um, it's from one of the cake companies that I like over here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried. As Bell were teaching those kids a few new words. Nah, fucking hell, I tried. Ah, they drop it like flies. They are. Bell does not have mommy and she can't ara ara. Thank you, Swaggy Star. Mwah! Ah, Mwah! Thank you. I'm not mom. Thank you. I mean, that was not a compliment, but it, w it it worked in my favor, so thank you. It was... <laughs> you insulted me, yet... Yet, um... 
It worked in my favor, so thank you. What kind of cake is, is it? It's a chocolate praline cake. Uh, chocolate praline cake. It's really nice. Uh, I've had it for my birthday before. Uh, secretly, without her knowing. Uh, and I know. <laughs> secretly bought the cake for myself for my birthday without her knowing. <laughs> Without anybody knowing and I was like, oh, this is a very nice cake. Okay, I will buy this for my mom next year. So uh... <laughs> I Mean how else do I test out the cake so that I can so that I know there ha look I need to test out the cakes Right, otherwise, how would I know if this would be suitable for my mom or my brother or my dad? I need to test them out before hand guys so yeah, I do the testing out beforehand for my birthday secretly and then I try the cakes. Yes, exactly. So I tried them out on my birthday secretly and um, if they're nice, I, I, I give it to them. Or you just wanted to eat the cake. A bit of both. I do like cake. <laughs> That's like a nice cake. Lethal but nice. No, it's very nice. Um, it's also really small because you know my, my, my family don't doesn't really like to eat so much cakes and stuff. They don't really like to eat so many sweet things. Um, my mom, dad, and brother they're trying to be more health conscious and everything. So the cake is literally ten cm in diameter, and it's fucking eighty bucks. So you guys can imagine how the bigger sizes cost. How much uh, the bigger sizes cost? Is it ten cm radius or ten cm diameter? Well, it's enough for four people, like cut into like four and it's enough like nice four slices. So, what's 10 cm? There's no such thing as freedom units! Get with the fucking program and get with metric units, babo! Yeah, it's expensive. I told you it's a nice designer expensive cake. 80 bucks for like 10 cm. Cake. Yeah. Uh, it's not decimeter, centimeter. Um, <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Phantom, for doing that conversion. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you for doing that um, conversion. Na, 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 na. Wait, actually, you know what? You, you know what? I can show you guys. Let me show you guys the cake. Do you guys want to see the cake? Let me show you guys. Um, so this particular cake shop uh, is in like a very fancy, uh, very, very super fancy area in singapore it's it's this area okay I'm, I'm gonna tell you this area because it's uh you guys won't know but the singaporeans in my chat probably know it's known for like wedding wedding shops i only knew about this place because of my friend's wedding right and she was like trying out shit there and everything like like trying out wedding dresses and stuff and i was like oh okay and then i passed by this wonderful awesome cake shop and i was like what and they serve and they serve like wine with cake and everything. I was like, what? So um, that's how I knew about the shop. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me show you guys the the cake. Uh, where is it? Whole cakes. Yeah, this one. And uh, where is it? Is this one? Where is it? Yeah, this one. Yeah, it's 10 cm. This is the cake. Let me show you. You guys ready? I found it. Let me move myself. You no, I don't want to. No. Is the cake called Dempsey Roll? No. Uh, that's a whole area. No, it's it's in Tanjung Paga. Uh, it's in Tanjung Paga. It's called the the cake shop is called Nesuto. N e s u t o. So, uh, Singaporeans who want to go check out that cake shop, please do. Go do it. Uh, okay, give me a second, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, that's the one. The, the one on the, uh, the, the cake closest to me, that's the cake. Yeah, it's a fancy cake shop. Uh, it's the cake closest to me with the cute little, like, uh, Nuts? I don't know what kind of nuts. Are they hazelnuts? I don't know what nuts. Yeah, it's it's very very delicious. How are you doing, Tato? Yeah, it's very nice. It's really it's really good. I can I can tell you. I've tried out many of the cakes here, and almost all the cakes are like fantastic. 
So yeah, um, Singaporeans, you guys want a nice place for designer, beautiful cakes? This is uh, this is the place. Okay, so that's the cake I'm getting her. <laughs> it's fine because she won't see it anyway. Up till like, she's not gonna watch this. Uh, she's not gonna watch this stream until like um, maybe Monday. So we're good. We're good for a while. <laughs> We're good. She's not gonna wait. She's not gonna watch this until like one day. We're good. We're good, guys. We're good. <laughs> it looks like a cupcake. It's not. They're different sizes. Uh, the smallest size is like 10 cm. Uh, they have sizes like uh, let me see. So they have 10 cm, 16 cm, 20 cm, 30 cm cakes. Uh, different different sizes. So yeah, it's called Praline Noisette Gâteau. I don't think I'm, I'm I don't think I'm pronouncing it right, but yeah, it's a praline gâteau, okay? Uh, chocolate chocolate cake. It's really nice. Is it a cafe too? Yes, it's a cake cafe. Yes, so you can walk into that uh, that particular cafe and you can order like sliced cakes, and um, they usually pair them with wines. It's a it's a really nice uh, fancy cake place. <laughs> Wow, Belgium. Yeah, so she 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 deserves the the nicest, bestest cakes. I'm going out. Um, I usually go out on Saturdays in the afternoon just to town uh, to get stuff and everything. So I'm. I still don't know what to get her, but I'll get her something. <laughs> uh, they do sell coffee. They do sell coffee. They have brunch at Jewels. Uh, oh yeah, so they have a. So if you guys are stopping by Singapore Airport, uh, Singapore when you're traveling, right? Uh, in your air travels, uh, go visit Jewel Changi Airport. There is a brunch of this lovely cake shop over there. Um, Jewel Changi Airport is the wonderful. You guys, you guys know Jewel Changi Airport, right? Give me a second. Um. Um. I I no. hear I hear rock. You have to realize that the average American can't use metric measurements oh, because really? 10, 10 is too difficult you, for them to understand. 10 plus 10 is difficult for it's them, but not for you, for right, them Rock? To complain about it. I see. But but you're smart, right, Rock? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wish you do all talking about. You guys have probably seen this before, but. I feel I feel like I'm, uh, I'm I'm giving you guys a tour of fucking Singapore. I can't, I I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, yeah, I've showed you guys this before, but I will show you again. This is the literal jewel of Singapore's airport. Uh, here we go. Jewel Changi Airport. This is it. It's literally like a like forested area. This is how it looks like. I, it's it's not even photoshopped or anything. Literally, this is how it looks like. It, it, it looks exactly like this. <laughs> I'm not even... This is not even like Photoshop. It's exactly like this. It's really cool. Uh, this is the center uh, area of the airport. It's great. Yeah, you should visit just for the airport. I know a lot of people, a lot of my um, overseas friends, they like to make Singapore their stopover. They are stopover. They are, they are stopover destination. They have like uh, quite a few hours, like maybe half a day, and then they just like spend time in in the airport. Yeah, it's great. We do things in fourths, twelfths, and sixteenths. <laughs> Why are you guys so weird? <laughs> Unless I'm working in the loading bench, and then it's in grains. Oh God. But yeah, so so it's a it's a lovely airport. Tato, how are you doing? It's the jewel of the Commonwealth, if you say so. Tato, thank you for gifting the sub to Ramen. Uh yeah. Yeah, I actually know of people who who uh, do that. Bell scare the Americans and show an image of the metric ruler. Do you guys oh, you guys really wanna be fucking scared, do you? Here. You guys ready? I'm about to blow your mind. I'm about to fucking blow your mind. You guys ready? Ready? Are you ready? Here. Ta-da! This is what we call a metric ruler, guys. Look at that. Everything is in centimeters and it's in metric units. It's in centimeters and it's in metric units, guys. 
Wow! So you have this ruler in America yet? You guys not on the fucking metric system? How? Explain to me! How? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Can you guys just please standardize? The whole world is using the same thing. Guys, please! Ah. Uh, but we ignore the other side of the room. <laughs> Someday Bell will call it a game. We'll be calling the game where Hey Babo, thank you for the bits. Get matcha be get Bell Matcha Poke stat. Yeah. I had some I had some really nice milky um, ice cream today. Um, it's called Niseko milk ice cream. Um, in case you guys didn't know, Niseko was actually the ski resort I went to in Hokkaido. So I was really I was really like uh, surprised when I saw like a Niseko brand hook it's basically Hokkaido milk um, ice cream and I was like I saw that in my um, grocery store and I was like what so I had to get it and it's super awesome it's super awesome I had that for uh, dinner I had that as my dessert for dinner I had my dessert for dinner and um, my dinner was just a booty salmon sushi <laughs> I got I, I now I now I have a fear of saying a booty because you guys can never fucking um hear what I say. A booty salmon sushi. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm still jealous of my sister for getting to visit Japan. Oh nice! Which part of Japan did she go to? Hello D Green! You missed a lot of shit. <laughs> I had a booty salmon. This is a booty salmon. How do you guys not know? Okay. Booty salmon sushi. I also got this from the grocery store. This is very, very nice. This is how a booty salmon looks like. Give me a second. I'm gonna show you guys. You guys ready? I'm gonna show you guys. There. That's a booty salmon sushi. I had like six pieces of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. It's super yummy. What the fuck? Who played that? Who fucking played that? Who played that? Why seven? Out of context, not ready for snow snow. Why seven? You deserve this. Enjoy your death rate. <laughs> I should have never put that up on Tangia. I should never fucking put that up on Tangia. She visited Tokyo for only for a day. How could oh she went and spent most of the time in Okinawa. Did she get the sea grapes? Since she went with a friend whose brother was stationed there, okay. Did she eat sea grapes? Um. It's $50. You can have another six sushi. <laughs> hey, the six sushi only cost like six bucks. Okay. <laughs> I had no idea. Okay. I will never be able to spend... If I was going to Tokyo, I would do everything possible to stay at least one week. In Tokyo. Oh, why seven's back? <laughs> I would do everything possible to stay in Tokyo at least one week. I mean, I need two days at least in Tokyo Disney. Two days at least. And then you need to spend one whole day in Akihabara, right? And then you need to go to like uh, Shinjuku and like um, Amote Sando. You need to go to. Uh, where, where is the other place? Of course, um, Harajuku, all the shopping areas. Actually, I would spend two days doing shopping. And then there would be like um, Odaiba. Odaiba is a nice place. So, and then if you really want to get fancy, you can go to Roppongi Hills and Ginza. And go to like pubs there if you want. If you, if you, are, if you are into things like that, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is like January 2020 and I'm still envious. Wow. Okay. I'm not a girl. I don't want to go to Harajuku. Hey, guys, go to Harajuku too. When you go to Harajuku, the, f the important thing to do is to have crepes. Is to have crepes. You need to, you need to, there are so many crepe stands in, um, they're like ice cream crepes. There's so many crepe stands in Harajuku, in that one street. There are so many different crepe, strand, crepe stands. You need to have that. You need to go stand in one corner, right? Strike a pose, and then eat your crepes in a very cool fashion. Yeah, that's how the, that's, that's what the cool kids do in Harajuku. You need to do that, guys. Did, uh, were you taking notes? <laughs> were you taking notes? You, you, you guys. I'm, I'm importing my wisdom to you. Yes. Okay. Good. Um. So when you go to Harajuku, make sure you buy the crepes. Stand in a very cool corner of the street, right? And then a fancy corner of the street, and then and you know lean back with one leg, kind of like partially. Like, uh, le you know, leaning back on the wall kind of thing. And then, and then eat your crepes. And then people watch. Because that was, that's what the cool kids do in Harajuku, everybody, okay? I'm not cool enough. I want to go to the nerdy places. Then you should go to Akihabara. That's where all the maid cafes are. But Belle, you're not cool, so you can't do that. Fuck you, locker! <laughs> The maid cafes and the gentleman cafes, the the uh, butler cafe. Sorry, yeah, they're all in uh, Akihabara. That's the anime capital. Um, but yeah, do you agree? Someone said maid cafe. Yes. Uh, the, it, so um, I've been to the the best maid cafe over there. It's called At Home. Uh, it's also the most common one. Uh. They do dress up with like bunny ears and things and like uh, maybe like for Easter and things like that. They, they do have like events. Um, also, it's exactly like bunny garden in the sense that uh, if you buy like a package. If you buy like a package, you can get a picture with them or play a game with them. And uh, yeah, they'll take like a Polaroid picture for you and things like that. <laughs> Nave, thank you for the bits. Why are you giving me bits? Uh, but yeah, I, I I do love maid cafes, and they do the moe moe cute. They do that too. Um, they do the moe magic for your omu rice. It's amazing. Do they show their panties? No. You're looking for a hostess club, Tato. <laughs> You're looking for a hostess club, not a maid cafe. They're different. Uh, would you ever work at a maid cafe? Yes. 100% And be in a cute mate outfit the whole entire time? Why would I not? So Yeah Did you do karaoke there, Belle? No, I did not uh, Believe it or not, I hardly do karaoke <laughs> I hardly do karaoke um, off, off stream um, Whenever I go with my friends they, they, they get really annoyed when I do karaoke. They're like, oh, we're never going to go karaoke with Belle ever again. The one time they went karaoke with me. <laughs> the one time I met it, you know, the one time they were like, hey, you know what, Belle, let's all go karaoke together. I'm like, yeah, let's do that. That's so much fun. Um, in, Villain, in Villain Academy, I was like, yeah, that's so much fun. Let's do that. And then I sang and then they were like, no, we're never doing karaoke with you ever again, Belle. So, <laughs> I can't even rinse my VTuber sister. Look, if it's a job where I have to serve things and just act cute, I think that's fine. <laughs> I don't have to riz. Rizzing is not part of the. Rizzing is not part of maid cafes. Like I said, it's not a hostess club. It's a maid cafe. It's different. You'd be good at karaoke. Yes, that's exactly why they don't want to go with me to karaoke anymore. Because I'm good at karaoke. So they don't want to... <laughs> They're like, it's not fun singing with you, Belle. So I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I can't go karaoke ever again. 
<laughs> I can't even go. Karaoke, you don't give chance. No, look. I it's not true. I do give chance. What do you mean? I I even sing like not greatly. Like I, I try to sing like not greatly and everything and I try to sing out of tune and everything and still they don't wanna go karaoke with me anymore. <laughs> Chad is the one who gets me. death rate, yeah. Another month subbed to an award winning singer. It's not an award winning singer. How are you doing, killers? <laughs> Thank you. One year. Thank you for subscribing for one whole year. What the heck? How are you doing, killers? Y7 loves the emote. Um, yeah, I won an award. That's true. You know, <laughs> now I'm trying to convince myself that I didn't win any award. I was <laughs> Your descriptions of Singapore made it one of the countries I want to visit the most in my lifetime. It's a cool place to visit. You'll be surprised by it. Uh, a lot of people don't think... Uh, too much of it but they get surprised when they visit singapore they're like hey wow there's actually quite a few things here um so yeah just don't go to universal studios here don't go to the universal studios here you'll be very very sorely disappointed um i made the mistake i mean i went to i went to the universal studios in the u.s and everything uh i went to the ones in hollywood and the ones in like florida and then I visited the one in Singapore, which was my fucking mistake because then I kept comparing and then it was like shit. So just don't go to the Universal Studios in Singapore, but otherwise everything's fine. Yeah. I don't do karaoke because I'm bad and you can't do karaoke because you're too good. What world we live in! I know, right, Tormi? Ducky, how are you doing? Okay, no, please don't go. It's, it's the worst. There isn't even a Harry Potter um, section in the Singapore um, Universal Studios. I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. The merch sucks ass. It's so disappointing. I hate it. Just don't go. Just don't go to the Universal Studios in uh, in Singapore. Anywhere else is fine. I highly recommend the zoo. The zoo is my favorite. All the all the zoo parks. Um, are great the bird park the um bird paradise the zoo the night safari the river safari they're making like a whole like wildlife park and everything which is i think going to be ready soon like a resort kind of thing um they're opening up I, all of that is great but um i have very high expectations dusk when it comes to theme parks sticking <laughs> out your cat for the rizzler <laughs> You're so skibidi. <laughs> You're so fan of tags. <laughs> I just wanna be your sigma. Thank you for playing Ducky's song. It completely, completely. Now everybody's forgotten about the snooze snooze. Thank you guys. D Green. Mwah! Thank you. How are you doing, Chaku? Duck and Bell Karaoke. <laughs> ah, the monkeys enclosures surprisingly singapore has a quite a large monkey exhibit area primates lots of it i hate it but unfortunately it's true um that's not true, Ducky. Everybody's good enough to sing with me. Um, i never been here when that sound played. That was my first time. Really? That was your first time? D Green loves playing in it. Thank you, D Green. Just laughed at that thought and then moved. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What thought? I mean, it's fine. I would. But I don't do duets anymore. Because uh, I don't I don't sing over Discord. No, I, Discord is bad with the um, with the um, it it's bad with the audio. It cuts off. I tried. It cuts off. So I won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why. It's not like I won't. I will if there is a way, but I can't through Discord. I'm looking up Singapore right now. You're slowly convincing me I want a vacation there. Look, it's a good place to go. I recently found out, by recently I mean yesterday, I, ye I found out yesterday there's a marine 
a marine conservation park in Singapore. I just found that out yesterday. Literally fucking yesterday, I found that out. And they're actually making a second marine conservation park because there are some like coral reefs uh, in the offshore islands in Singapore. And I just found that out like literally yesterday. I didn't even know that. Time for Belle to go to someone's house for a duet. That would mean I have to buy a plane ticket to get to go to the UK. <laughs> How the hell did you make this level of cringe in this short clip? That skill, if anything, it is true. Ducky is very good with it. Ducky is very good at making quality content. Um, I vote she has a duet with Founder. I wouldn't mind too, but then you gotta, then I gotta pay for my ticket to go to New Zealand. Bell duet with Founder. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ducky, Greg, look, I don't. I didn't buy a ticket for TwitchCon EU. I'm not going TwitchCon EU. But yeah, the the only way that I will do duets is if we're there in person, or if someone records. Uh, if if the person I'm doing a duet with records their voice first beforehand uh, to a piece of music, and then you know I I sing on over that. That was what I did with Normie's uh song once right we did that paramore song with norm uh, with normie's vocals i pre-recorded normie's vocals um and then recorded it over the song that i did and then sang over it for my karaoke and that was the only one time that i did it it's too much work <laughs> that was the only time i did it it's too much fucking work anybody who see tgn angel how you doing anybody who has that youtube video of me singing that song uh, it's it's one of my past belly okays. Uh, help me help me find that on my. It's the Paramore song decode. Help me find that on my YouTube, and you can link it in chat, and you guys can hear. How are you doing, TGN Angel? Yeah, founders in the land of the Kiwis. <laughs> Holy fuck! Founder, what the fuck, dude? Why? Why? Wh what? Why are you time out? We don't have karaoke here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there's one thing I want to visit New Zealand for, it's for it's for the Shire. Uh, the Lord of the Rings set, the Shire. I definitely, definitely want to visit uh, New Zealand just to see that. Um, it was Tato's fault. Wait, what? What did Tato do? Uh, is that the one? Yeah, that's the song. Yeah, that's the song. Oh wow, it's with Bell 1.0. Amazing. Yeah, that's the song. <laughs> thank you, Babo. Thank you. That's the song. You guys can um, go click that uh, that link that Babo uh, posted uh, in chat. That's the song that I did uh, with Normie. That was the duet I did. Not gonna lie, New Zealand over Australia. I am sorry, Aussie folks, but I think I'm gonna have to agree with Flex. <laughs> only because! Only because! Only because! Everything fucking closes at 5 p.m. and I get really fucking pissed off. I've been to Australia a few times. Everything closed at 5 p.m. I don't know whether it's my luck or anything else, but I was so pissed off. Everything closes at 5 p.m. And I was like, what am I supposed to do after 5? <laughs> that, is the, that is the only reason, okay, Aussie folks? That is the only reason. It's a good thing that you'd be... No. Fuck you, Gumpers. No. Have you ever flown the Eagles to Mount Doom? That would be really fucking cool if Founder's actually done that. Have you actually done that, Founder? You live in the South Island, not the North. North is the better island. Sorry about that, founder. Um, New Zealand is just spicy UK. Is it just... <laughs> <laughs> A whole hour just chatting. I'm really good... Huh? It's an hour already? Well, usually for Friday stream, I don't know why, but just chatting usually takes up like one hour, two hours. I don't know why. It's just that I have a lot of things to talk about on, on, on Friday streams. I don't know why. Fuck duck. Wait, fuck duck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck duck? 
You have killed me right now. Oh, okay. Punctuation flex! Punctuation! You guys need to learn fucking punctuation! <laughs> Please learn punctuation! God! Put a fucking comma! Th thank you, Flex. Thank you. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. You can misconstrue a sentence without fucking punctuation, okay? So, punctuation is important, everybody. Okay? It could mean totally different things. Put a comma or she'll put you in a coma. Yes. More like a death ray, but yeah. Hey, you said that, Flex! Don't give me f don't give me fuck dog and then and then nag and bears. Don't fucking do that. Okay, you did that. Okay, you you can't be fucking embarrassed for something you said. Okay, flex. No. <laughs> hey, you are the one who said that. It wasn't me. It's not my fault you didn't put fucking punctuation. Yeah, Ducky. Yeah, can we please stop saying that? Thank you. <laughs> stop it, go for it. <laughs> I just remember when you said that I the guess is. Did I say? Oh fuck! I'm trying to forget that. Why you? Why you have to? St why you have to remind me, Ramen? Okay, I swear. Sometimes, guys, especially when it's late at night. Actually, who am I kidding? Um, I do this all the time. Sometimes I just don't think about what I say. Um, and then, and then the dumbest shit just comes out of my mouth. Uh, it's not a good thing. I'm actually trying to pre- I'm trying to- I'm trying to stop doing that. But, um, it happens- it, I'm especially susceptible to doing that. Um, when I'm tired and streaming. Because- <laughs> Because it's late at night, you know? And I'm- and I have like half a brain cell. If I'm lucky, right? So <laughs> Half a brain cell functioning if I'm lucky um, at night, right? So, I can't <laughs> Don't stop ID clips. No, I'm trying to tell you it's harder for me to curb, uh, to stop, to, 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 to think before I say something when I'm streaming. So I think you're good, Locker. But it's bad for the rest of my, for, for other aspects of my life. Um... Yeah, it's mosquito season now. It's mosquito season? Oh no, you guys need to do the mozzie... The mozzie wipeout. We have the mozzie wipeout in Singapore. Hey, uh... Panzer Soul and Dusk, do you guys remember that? The mozzie wipeout? <laughs> I just remembered something stupid! Oh! Mozzie Wipeout was done by Pua Chukang. Do you remember Pua Chukang? Uh, the dude who is best in JB and some say even Batam. Um, he does the... He does this in Singlish. So there is. there used to be this show about a contractor. About an interior designer contractor dude. Interior designer is actually too good of a title for him. But... Um, so he, he has these like big um, rain boots kind of thing, like yellow construction ye rain boots kind of thing. So he works in construction, basically interior design in Singapore. It's supposed to be. I, I will not, Ducky. Fuck Duck! Shut up, Ducky! No. Yeah, and a big ass mole on his like cheek. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the dude. I really hate the dude. But he's an icon in Singapore because he was in a part of a sitcom. A television, local television sitcom. Okay? So they make him do... They make him do all the fucking advertisements. All of them. And so there's this one particular government campaign to do a mozzie wipeout. Mozzie is basically mosquito wipeout because Singapore is very susceptible to dengue fever. Okay, there are a lot of dengue fever cases in Singapore. For so I don't know why. Maybe because it's a tropical country, you know, a lot of people, um, a, a lot of mosquitoes. There are lots of mosquito breeding grounds in Singapore, apparently. Okay, and dengue fever is a legit thing over here. Um, yeah, he did sing the SAR song. It's so stupid. Uh, but yeah, he did do the mozzie wipeout as well. 
it's it's annoying it's annoying um and he did do that thing let me see if i can play it for you guys but if i play it for you guys you guys will no longer want to visit singapore ever again are you sure you guys want to see this <laughs> you guys will never want to see this, uh, come, come by singapore ever again uh let me see if there's a mozzie wipeout okay you know what maybe i'll just show you the campaign ad right I'll, I'll just show you the campaign ad i won't i won't um i won't show you the the video for it there we go okay here it is i'm gonna show you guys the mozzie wipeout you're good okay thank you for the hit pets it's time for cringe I, I don't worry i'm not gonna i'm not gonna play the video for you guys for your sanity i won't do it oh, that's the mozzie wipeout okay there that's the most <laughs> stop dengue now so the mozzie wipeout everybody get rid of stagnant water turn the pail tip the vase flip the flower pot plate loosen the hardened soil and then clear the roof gutter and place what the fuck is bti insecticide okay but yes place insecticide and that's how you do the mozzie wipeout guys that's the mozzie wipeout that's the that's the mozzie wipeout okay it's the five step mozzie wipeout okay everybody so disease ridden country <laughs> post it in the server in case you want to watch it okay i'll find it later and post it in the server but yeah that's the that's the mozzie wipeout that we have in singapore because uh mosquitoes are a huge thing and over here um actually at one point when we were having covid at one point, when it was uh, the heat of the whole COVID uh, situation, uh, Singapore was having two things to worry about. COVID and uh, a fucking dengue fever uh, rise. It was bad. It was really bad. Because people, people actually die of dengue fever, you guys know that. So we were having COVID plus dengue fever. So yeah, double wear me. It was, it was, it was hard. Have you seen the baby mosquito babies in the water? No. No, I hate mosquitoes. <laughs> ah. uh, we had something like this when um, encephalitis. What the fuck is encephalitis? What the heck is that? Give me a second. What the heck is encephalitis? What the hell is what the what is that? Inflammation of the brain? What the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. Mm, let me see. What is this? I'm learning shit today. Um. Let me move myself. Okay, there. What is it? It's. Um. Let's see, what's this? inflammation of the active tissues in the brain caused by an infection of auto or an autoimmune response oh i see wow that sounds horrid the inflammation causes the brain to swell which can lead to headaches stiff neck sensitivity to light mental confusion and seizures oh no oh no that sounds horrid john hopkins medicine what do you have to say about it um blah 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 what is in okay yes you told me this 10 to 15 people per hundred thousand people each year wow with more than a quarter million people diagnosed in the last decade in the u.s what the fuck it occurs in younger people causes can be caused by infections or autoimmune conditions where the body's immune responses attack the brain oh no even with extensive testing, the specific cause of encephalitis remains unknown. Oh god. This sounds horrid. Encephalitis can also result from certain viruses, which is like the Zika virus. Oh, this is also like the uh this is also a, a uh the Zika virus is also because of the mosquitoes, right? It was carrying the Zika virus. I remember that. Oh fuck! West Nile virus, Japanese encephalitis virus, lacrosse. Look, wait. There's a lacrosse virus. So what? You get a virus from playing lacrosse, guys? <laughs> this is lacrosse virus. <laughs> I 
I want a lacrosse virus. It sounds out of whack. There's a Saint Louis, Saint Louis virus, equine virus. Oh, I've heard of that one. Um, Powassan virus. I've also heard of this one, the chikungunya, chikungunya virus. Oh gosh, that sounds. This sounds bad. Um, take care of yourselves, guys. Mosquitoes are bad news. Yeah, this is Saint Louis virus. Catch the lacrosse virus before it catches you. <laughs> <laughs> ah! You forgot the worst virus as well. Skill issue. Yes, unfortunately, I'm plagued with that virus. Uh, ducky. Skill issue virus. It's a virus I'm plagued with uh, most of the time. Skill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Digree, you gotta, you gotta know. Um, Colin Founder and Ozzy is like a uh, death sentence. Yeah, don't call off, don't don't call founder an Aussie. It's a death sentence. You're asking for a death wish. It's called lacrosse because it was discovered in Lacrosse, Wisconsin. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> wow, we talked about a lot of things today. I'm actually amazed at at, at how we jumped from one from one type of conversation to another conversation and we ended up at viruses <laughs> how do you do this guys how do i do this okay but yeah should we start game let's start pokemon nuzlocke skill issue is not even curable it's not it's it it, it is actually but through hard work very hard work Time to see some Pokemon die. No, no one's gonna die. How you doing, Atrium? How are you doing? That's normally how just chatting goes. I am not good at it. A lot of the times. How are you doing, Atrium? I'm going. I'm doing okay. How are you? I, I okay. You guys keep saying that I'm good at just chatting. I'm not. I'm really not. There are a lot of times, like during the week, especially like on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, um, and actually on Saturdays as well. For some reason, this doesn't happen on Fridays, but Tuesday, Wednesdays, and like uh, Saturdays, I have nothing to talk about. Like, absolutely nothing to talk about. And then I get like fucking awkward and stream. I'm like, okay, let's start game. <laughs> I, I, I swear, I don't prepare these things. So, whatever comes to mind, whatever you guys talk about in chat, you know, if I roll with it, I roll with it. If not, I don't. I just don't, right? I yeah, no keep yapping no. Ducky's really good at, at just chatting streams. I'll be honest, D Ducky's very good at just chatting streams when he plays like the duck game. He's very good at, at just chatting streams. Just chatting ends in time for me to go to AFK. Perfect timing. Well, Phantom, thank you for um thank you for the lurk, and thank you for coming by. I hope you have a wonderful. Bleh, I hope you have a wonderful Friday. A bell just yapping is so good. I don't know why you say that. I'm just talking shit with you guys. It's not like I'm particularly saying anything. Uh, it's not like I'm particularly saying anything like useful or, or fun or entertaining. I'm not. I get it. Some days you can just think of more things to talk and some days you can't. Yeah. That's how just chatting works. It's because he only does do things. Bell, duck... Bell, Duck only chats or plays Jump King. That's actually true. Every time I'm watching Duck stream, it's either on the Duck uh, playing Duck uh, uh, stream, or um, he he's just chatting and, and playing the Duck game, right? Or he's playing Jump King because he's like, I don't know what to play, guys. So you know what? Let's do. Let's 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 beat my personal best. <laughs> no, but Ducky's really good at just chatting. You guys should should. He's a very interactive uh, streamer as well, more than me. Um, I feel like when I'm playing games, I especially if I'm like super into games or whatever, I get very, very um, sucked into it. And because I get sucked into it, um, I, I don't chat very much, you know? I, I don't chat with, with chat very much. I mean, I try, but I don't. Um, and Niv, I'll, I'll tell you. Sometimes my uh, emotional capacity for talking just gets used up at work. 
You know, it just gets used up throughout the day and then I'm just like... Okay, can I not talk right now? <laughs> I don't have anything else to say in my life. So, yeah. Um, it's especially hard when you are working, you know? And dealing with incompetent people. So is New Zealand to Australia like the Puerto Rico to the... Per no, I think I think a founder made a good comparison. New Zealand to Australia like can Canada to the US. Um, yeah, they're completely different countries. They're not territories. They're different countries. Let's get a PB. Spends the next hour trying to get past the first big jump. Yeah, that's Ducky Streams. Uh, but it's normal to need focus for part of games. I know. But that's why I admire people who can chat, look at chat, and fucking play at the same time. I fucking can't do that. Like, it, it requires so much of my effort to just play the game. Especially if like, I'm in a boss fight or something. Sometimes I go like even like super quiet. You guys have heard me, right? Sometimes, sometimes I get really frustrated with the boss and I'm trying so hard and nothing works. And then I just go super quiet. Because I'm just like, major concentration mode. <laughs> ah, this would all be solved if I just had better uh, skill. Sorry guys. But chat is also in the boss fight. Uh, you guys are also in the boss fight with me, I see. But um, I, 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 I will have to admit, a lot of the times when I, when I like, think back on uh, boss fights which, I, which took like many attempts on stream, I'm always like, like cursing at myself. I'm like, fuck, this must be hard to watch. <laughs> I know you guys say that it, that it's fun to watch me suffer, but maybe that's the case for the first like five times maybe. But if it goes more than that, you're just like, okay, Belle, stop repeating the same fucking mistakes you do all the fucking time. Improve, damn it. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's the impression I get. It makes me feel better about my own lack of skill. Okay, so so you like watching other people struggle? I'm still happy after the first five times. It's still funny. Okay, uh, that's interesting because for for me, I feel like oh shit. I honestly feel like I'm letting everybody down. I honestly this is this is how I personally feel. I feel like I'm letting everybody down. I'm like oh shit. I can't do this. <laughs> And then I feel like, oh crap, oh crap, I'm having, this is a crappy stream, everyone hates this, I can't do this. So that's literally what, 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 what happens, you know? It was cool to see you get better at it, like in Shadow of the Colossus. <gasps> oh yeah, that, that, that was fun, I agree. Only way to let us down is if you give up, if you keep on pushing forward. It's fun to see a player struggle because it's exciting when you actually do it. I, okay, look, I agree with you on that. Okay, I, I agree with you on that. But that is only if you can see some sort of like improvement from the first time you play it to the second time to the third time to the fourth time to the fifth time when you're, when you're fighting the boss. You can see some sort of like incremental improvements, right? A lot of the times when I play, I don't, I don't even see the incremental improvements. Like sometimes I just run into the, the boss again and I'm like, okay, I'm not improving. <laughs> And then I do the same thing over and over again. The only boss fight that was hard to watch was the spider in Mario Galaxy and Arcanine in... Oh, really? The spider in Mario Galaxy spider boss. You see, it's giving Locker still really, really bad memories. The Arcanine in, 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 in Legends Arceus. Was that really a bad fight? I don't remember that being necessarily a bad fight. Like, I thought the Arceus fight was a lot worse than the Arcanine fight. Interesting. Yes, it was. It was really bad. Okay. <laughs> I think you're partially distracted by streaming, so maybe you're learning slow. I don't think so. I don't think so. I just think I'm, I'm just... I'm just... hard at learning. <laughs> I don't think so. And because okay, I, I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you an evidence, okay? Because when I'm streaming, 
and then when I'm okay, when I'm concentrating on playing the boss, uh, on fighting the boss, right? Um, a lot of the times I go super super silent, and I'm concentrating on fighting the boss. I'm I'm actually not reading chat. I'm actually not reading chat at all. I'm not even looking. I'm not even bothering that I'm streaming. I'm not doing. I'm, I I don't even fucking care. I'm streaming, or that my mic is on or off or whatever. I don't care. I'm just looking at the game and I'm just concentrating on the game. And even then, right? The learning is super fucking slow. So I disagree with that. Uh, but that's just it. You don't see it, but we do. No, no, I, I don't expect myself to have programming skills. I, I don't expect myself to have to be like a pro gamer. I, I don't expect that, right? But I at least expect myself to be, to have like a little standard, little basic standard. Playing game. <laughs> a little basic standard of fucking playing games, okay? Such that every time I play something, you can you you do see like a small improvement, you know? How you doing, diver? Um, yeah. I I maybe I don't see it as much as you guys, but I definitely feel it. Um, if I if I'm fighting a boss for more than five times, I can definitely feel it. If you guys hear me like completely silent, I'm 100% feeling like I'm letting everybody down. So, <laughs> you guys can 100% know that I'm. This is 100% how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like shit because I can't fucking beat the boss. That is exactly how I'm feeling. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I'm doing great now. I'm not a programmer. I'm not. <laughs> but you know what? On that note, let's let's switch to Nuzlocke because apparently I have not restarted my Nuzlocke, so I'm actually doing something right. I, th I think, I think I think I'm doing something right. <laughs> you can hear it sometimes. You, you can hear what that I'm concentrating. You're not letting us down. I know. I know it sounds weird, but I feel responsible for the content I'm putting outside. To content I'm putting to you guys. You were Kerner Trigger Pro because you immediately told me what I need to upon seeing me play the game. And that was because I had pro people over here like Niv and everybody telling me what to do for Kerner Trigger. So I'm just passing down the knowledge they gave me. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's start game. You should tell Stealthy Mouse how to do a Nuzlocke first try. I'm sure she knows how to do a Nuzlocke first try, don't worry. I never played Kerner Trigger. Oh, was it wasn't you? <gasps> it was Sukos! And there were other bunch of like uh, Chrono Trigger fans in my chat who were only there for the Chrono Trigger um, gameplay that I did. I think it was Sukos. Sukos was the one. It's, pro it's probably Sukos. I'm not Chrono Trigger nerd. Does she? She is on run number 10. Maybe I'm just very very lucky. You know, you know, Founder, have you have you thought about that? Maybe I'm just fucking lucky. Okay, maybe I'm just lucky. <laughs> She's so lucky. She's a star, but she cries, cries, cries. <laughs> I don't know why that stupid song came out of my head. Oh man. Okay, give me a second. Let me try to switch off. Sing me a tune. Or sing me a tune. The silence is deafening. Don't worry, guys. You guys will hear her sound in just a bit. Yeah, just yapping over. <laughs> hey, Pokemon is practically a just yapping stream. I talk a lot during Pokemon streams anyway. Is she doing any hard rules or something, or is she just playing too fast and just not switching on? Don't switch on time. Yeah, you know it could be it could be she's playing some difficult rules. When you get to Bloodborne Bell, I wish you good luck. Just know that I believe in you. I I'm honestly this is the reason why, you guys, I'm extremely. I'm very very scared to play Bloodborne. Because just look, Metal Gear Solid. It's, it's literally fucking metal, metal gear. Fuck. Okay. Literally metal gear solid. Okay. Playing it on easy mode. Still takes me forever to try to beat the boss. How? How? 
How, how on earth am I gonna play Bloodborne? I might just- I'll just take one step, die. One step, the dog- the dog gets me, I'm dead. One step, one of the stupid skeletons get me, I'm dead. I'll have zero souls to level up. With. Basically. I mean, I'll, I, I would love to play this game. I would love to play Bloodborne. I really would. But I don't have enough confidence to play it. I will not be playing Halo 2. <laughs> okay, so recap. Once you die 100 times, you will finally get good. The question is, are you guys willing to watch me die 100 times on stream? See, that's a... That's something that I don't think many people are... <laughs> you guys say that now. You guys say, oh, Belle, I will, I will watch you no matter how many times you die. I guarantee you, after the 20th time, you're gonna be like, Belle, can you please stop playing this game? <laughs> please. This is painful to watch. <laughs> I've had that I've had that so many times. Like even when we were playing like Monster Hunter. Even when we were playing like Even fucking Metal Gear Solid, people in the chat would be like It's painful to watch Bell. Even though we're playing like Mario Galaxy, you guys would say that. So don't give me that shit, everybody. Okay, you found someone worse than Bell. Wow, we need to make Pokemon tournament for low bracket feet. Fuck you, Locker! I'm not that bad in Pokemon! I just don't know shit and I don't memorize shit like you guys. <laughs> you know, Bell, if you crouch over the mines, you can go. Wait, really? In, in Metal Gear, you crouch over the mines, you can collect them? Are you for real? I didn't know. Okay, guys, is the volume okay? Do I need to reduce the volume? Um, is this volume level okay? This volume level is fine, right? I wouldn't watch. I find pe watching people playing the Souls games boring. See? Okay, but that's just a personal preference though, right? It, Galaxy was not painful this time. It was just the wall. Yeah, it was just the wall that was that was really, really bad. How are you doing, Iron Wolf? Aw, oh, thank you, Diver. I'm also not going to be playing this online, Bloodborne. So I'm going to be playing this all on my own, without help. But... I will use all the spirit summons I have. <laughs> Volume is good? Okay, great. I no, 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 I know I asked. Some, some, some people don't like Souls games. Some people just don't like watching Souls games. All the more proud of you? Yeah. They have spirit summons, right? I am pretty sure you can summon some spirits when you fight like mini bosses and stuff. How are you doing, Iron Wolf? I did something evil today. Great, I am proud. How are you doing, Monarch? I'm not into Souls games. Okay. I like Bloodborne though. I feel like Bloodborne is something you should play with help. Yeah, it does have summons, it does. I'm I'm just not gonna ask for help. Because I wanna do it on my own. Hey, if Paige can do it on her own, I can fucking do it on my own, okay? <laughs> you guys know who Paige is, right? Do you guys do you guys know who Pet is? He's a streamer from Canada. I mean, he first started doing stuff from YouTube. We rated him once. Pet stares at Legend. He's a legend. He's Canadian. He and Wooly do like a podcast, like a game podcast together. They're amazing. I like the two of them. Paige is his wife. So his wife also streams. His wife is like a voice actor kind of thing. A voice actress. And she she's not good at games. She's not. Right? And there was like a whole playthrough of she of, of her playing Dark Souls, all the Dark Souls games, including like Bloodborne, I think. Um, with Pet, her husband, sitting right beside her and <laughs> Telling her where to go, what to do, and she did mistakes like, um, you know, you know when Pet would say, um, "Honey, go to your left," she would go to the right, and Pet would be like, "Honey, your other left." <laughs> she would die so many times. I watched some of their playthroughs; it was hilarious. But if she can finish Bloodborne, she can finish the Souls games. I can too. So, sounds like for Wawa and Moko. Yeah, you guys should. 
Totally watch pet. I mean, they're 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 not VTubers, obviously. They they stream with their face and everything. They're real life in real life streamers. It they're very cute. They stream together very often nowadays because now they have a baby. So uh, pet and Paige stream together very often. And they're very very cute. <laughs> <laughs> I like watching them. I like, I like, I like, I like, uh, I like also watching uh, Wooly and um, Wooly and Pet. Babo, no Wooly, right? Babo, do you know Wooly? Flesh tubers, yeah. Babo would know because Wooly, Wooly and Reggie, Wooly streams with Reggie, his other friend, and both of them like to go to like uh, fighting game tournaments and stuff. So, I thought you guys would. Babu would know. Okay. Yeah, Wooly! Wooly versus Wooly! Yes, Wooly! Yes, the one with the dreadlocks. Yeah, Wooly! Wooly's very good friend is Pet. Yeah, you know Wooly from fighting games. How are you doing, Zarok? Yeah, I'm talking about them! So Wooly's very good friend, Pet. Pet stares it, right? Pet. Um, they do a podcast together. They're very good friends. They used to have a YouTube channel together. Um, they still they still do lots of stuff together, um, although they stream, stream separately. I'm talking about Pet. So Pet and his wife Paige, um, they stream together sometimes. Although they also stream separately, but yeah. What was the name of the Corvette up in Canada? Or was it the Grom or the Sword? I have no idea. Zara, how are you doing? That's cool. Yeah, they're they're really cool. They're all Canadians and they're a very fun bunch. So yay Canada. Okay. I just want to show you guys. What the fuck? How do I... Is this the one? Yeah, okay. So these are um, the Pokemon that we have in the box. Okay, everybody. We have the Beedrill. We have the Ekans. We have the Teddy Ursa. We have the... Fanpy. We have why not? Um, of course, in my team we have um, Miltank, Lyron, Frogdeer, Gastrodon, Venusaur, and my Sphiel. And we also um, have some fossils. Which I have no idea where they are. No, these are the dead, the dead Pokemon. Where are my fossils? Wait, where do my fossils go, guys? Where are my fossil Pokemon? Wait, were these my fossil Pokemon? Oh yeah, Teddy Ursa was my fossil Pokemon. Fenpy was my fossil Pokemon and Gestodon was my fossil Pokemon. I had three fossil Pokemon and those were the three. Teddy Ursa, Fenpy, and Gestodon. Yeah. If there's no bet, I'm gonna take off for work. Um, okay, I'm gonna put a bet up. Thank you for reminding me, Gumpers. Yeah, we'll put a bet up. Will Bell lose a Pokemon? Let's do the poll. Sorry, not poll. Uh, let's do a prediction. Will Bell kill Pokemon this stream? Yes or no? Um, I'm gonna put the thing up for like five minutes. You guys can go ahead and the prediction has started, Gumpers. Thank you for reminding me. And have a wonderful day today at work. I don't know about Pokemon, but we know Belle is going to lose herself. Yes. <laughs> also, I just wanted to say, pop by and say hi before I sleep. I hope you have a good stream. Thank you. Thank you, Diver. Have a great sleep. Have a good sleep. I'll see you soon. Bye! Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I 
don't remember what I need to do. I actually don't. Um, we did the Rhyhorn thing the last time. How do we progress from the story? Do you guys know? Fen P have pick up. I don't know. Found um, founder randomized pick up ta table, but it might be wise to check. How do I check? Okay, off to work. Bye, Bell and Chad. Bye, Gumpers. Okay, let's check Fen P. I'm gonna deposit the spiel. Uh, yeah, second. Let's grab the Fenpi. <gasps> After every fight, your chance for him to get an item. That that sounds fucking cool. Okay, give me a second. So how do I check my Pokemon? Let me see. Where's where's Fenpi? Fenpi and Gastrodon level twenty. Um, item? How do I how do I know what item he has? Oh, he has pick up. This Pokemon may pick up items. Nice. Oh, he does have pick up. Nice. Sure, let's double him up. It sounds like a plan, guys. Okay, let's do this. After every fight, it has 10% to get an item and it'll show as a health item. Oh, nice! That sounds fantastic. Okay, I need to know what to do next. We went to get the fossils and we did the Rhyhorn thing, but I can't remember what to do next. Where do we go to progress the story? Where's the Rhyhorn thing? Oh, that's right. The Rhyhorn was in like a tunnel, right? I'm very particular about the speed of Pokemon. That's why I'm wondering if you have any Pokemon with a speed of 82 or greater with you. Worry not, there's more to Pokemon than speed. But what I'd really like to see today is a Pokemon with a speed greater than 82. I have no fucking clue. Bye! Oh, that's right. The right horn thingy was right over here. Oh, hello! If a Pokemon holding a rocky helmet takes a direct attack, the attacker can takes damage too. Ooh. Combine that with an ability like iron barbs or rough skin, and then it'll really start to sting. Okay. I see. Guys, I, I really don't know where to go next. This is Route 9 though. Did I catch anything in Route 9? Oh, that's right. I caught the Ekans in Route 9. Rhyhorn, baby! How are you doing? Look at him, guys! It's my Rhyhorn, baby! No, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> He's so fucking cute! He's my favorite part of this Pokemon game. Woo! Pyroar. Okay. Can I tank it? Box smash. That was pathetic. Uh oh. I'm, I'm gonna get burned, aren't I? Why you stop? You know what? Let's just take a milk drink. Fuck 
you. I'll try to stomp him and see how this goes. Ah! Yeah, it's not gonna. Live. Oh, he died. The pyro died. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm going to farm uh, a little bit over here to level up my um, Pokemon. Okay, guys. Because my Pokemon are level 20, I kind of want to get them to like level 25 before we go to the uh, gym. Okay, guys. Vihorn time! Vihorn grinding! Woo! Dun, 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 dun. Oh, fuck, it's a Magma Dog. Screen. What does smoke screen do? Accuracy. Fuck. Alright. It's fine. I can fight him and kill him right now. Magma Duck is dead. Oh, fuck you! Shit. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. This is very fucking bad. Um. Drink my milk drink. I'm gonna try to stop. No, fuck. Please hang in there. I will cure you. I swear I will cure you! Let's fucking rock smash this motherfucker. Paranoid to let my Pokemon die. Don't worry, guys. My Pokemon will not die. Your attack stat is cut in half. I see. Okay, but he's dead. Okay, I need to heal. I need to heal my. Um, I need to heal my baby. Backtrack, backtrack, backtrack. That's it. I like the music for this. No one died yet. Not the stream. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna run because I want to heal. Yay! Thank you! Thank you, my friend! Da -da 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 -da. I, I think I'm supposed to fight the gym. The next thing is just fighting the gym, so I'm just gonna try to level up, level 25. And then uh, just fight the gym. Okay, guys. I think that is all that I have next.
How are you doing, Benz? I'm serious though, Locker and, and Founder. What, what What is next in the story wise? Do I just need to fight the gym leader? Thank you. Have fun. Thank you, Kiwi. Fossil lab. Okay, no, that's not this one. Okay. You were saying that your mom was a former Raihon racer and the ability to ride on a Raihon only for the game to not let you have a Raihon race. I'm actually upset. Now that you tell me that we can't have a Raihon race, I'm actually upset now. I'm actually really upset now. Because that will make a lot of sense. To have a Rhyhorn race with your rival or something, right? Now I'm I'm now I'm really upset. Your pizza just arrived? Nice. Enjoy your pizza. Okay. So how the fuck am I supposed to find the gym? Da -na, na -na -na. Vox Mesh! Ah! Wait, what? Woo! It's a Scully Bean! Shit, it's level 18. I'm just stomp on him. Just go on. We won't tie your shoe every time you shoot. Okay. Yes, exactly that, Nif. What about Rock Smash? What's rock, rock Smash work in the bug? Oh, fuck you. Try it again. That does nothing. Okay, I'm gonna just stomp you then. No, don't poison me! Oh, he's almost dead. I can tank this. There. Did. You can make pizza tomorrow. Pizza tastes good, but it takes so long to make. You should ask Locker. Yay! You're, you're to level 20! You should ask Locker. Locker um, makes pizza from scratch. Okay. I need, to, I need to go back. I need to go back. I need to go back. I need to heal my Pokemon. Pokemon needs healing. Yes, I am this type of person. If my Pokemon gets hit, I will heal my Pokemon multiple times. Good dough takes one whole day to make. That's... That's tedious. And that is why I will never learn how to make pizza. Do you guys know where's the name the the name changer person? Is there anywhere near here? It's easy to make just tedious. That's exactly why I won't do it. My time is precious. Dun, dun, 
Can I skate in water? I can skate in water. What the fuck? So I've seen a lot of the Hololife uh, people play CC first. I will admit, I am tempted, but it looks just as bad as jumping, guys. It looks just as bad as jumping. It's not like a little to the left, you know, a little to the left is nice. It's a nice, calm, casual, fun game. Oh, wow, wait, 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 what? Where did this go? Oh! <gasps> I got rose incense, nice. Phantom, welcome back. It's going good. You missed the prediction, but we haven't lost the Pokemon yet. Yeah, you get to skate. Yes, I get to skate. Phoenix, how are you doing? I mean, we're doing good. We've only had two dead Pokemon since we started playing this game. We haven't restarted yet. Blue Ocean! How are you doing? Oh shit. <gasps> Dowsing Machine. If you're close to a buried item, the dowsing rods react and the movement and their movement leads you to it. We'll find the treasure when the it's crossed in red and here's a bit of trivia who douse are called douse. Okay. So do I need to check that inside my bag and like use it? Wait, is my XP shirt on? Oh my XP share is not on because I'm afraid of my Pokemon leveling up. Um, maybe I'll turn it on and then once uh, Venusaur and Frogadier reach 25, I'll put them in the uh, box and then uh, just level up the other um, Pokemon, the other four, and then put them in uh, back again once every everyone is on level 25. I'll just do that. Okay, where's the Dawson rod? So how do I dig? How do I dig? Just click at red. Oh, okay. I found the earth plate! Nice. Just press uh then we look at the red cross. Okay, okay. Doing good, you're making some cake. It looks like everybody use it everybody's baking or doing some sort of like food making today. I'm a douse! I'm a dousing feeling this I don't see anything. Fucking doubts! Where's my treasure? You made apple tart? Wow, that must taste really, really good. That must taste really good. I wanted to try to make peach cobbler last year for like during Christmas time or something, and I did not. I did not find the time to make peach. Um, Oh, pear, sorry, pear cobbler. Was, wasn't peach, it was pear. I did not have time to do it. Maybe this year. I'll make some pear cobbler. Nope. Nope, this is a trick. Okay. Looks like we have a trainer battle with Tamer Joy. Oh, she looks kind of hot. What the fuck is that? Mask. 
Rain. I'm just stomping. Treasure. I made donuts a few weeks ago, but I got tired because my mom requested for me to make more for the neighbors, kids, Boston cream to be exact. Wow. Shit. I don't know where to keep the Pokemons. Look, if the Pokemons can shrink, I'm sure the po there's some sort of Pokeball technology where the Pokeballs can shrink. Okay? I am sure... Oh, fuck. It's level 22. That's why. Where do they put the shrunken balls? That's a good question. I don't know. Look at the little friend bee! So fucking cute. Oh no. Is takedown good? Guys, I don't think my fan P has good moves. What is natural gift? Flail doesn't look great. What is takedown and what is natural gift? I'm not gonna do rollout because I know rollout is bad. I'm wait I'll wait for fan P to learn new moves. But what's takedown? Is takedown good? Otherwise, I just use a different Pokemon. Don't know where to keep them in the F Zoom Zoom. Is 90 base, 85% accuracy with recoil. Nope, that's not a good one. Looks like my fan P needs to learn some shit. So it's gonna be leveling up in the background. No! Guess you're done! What is hidden power? I won't I won't lose any Pokemon. Oh nice! Fucking hit him again! He's dead! And now I need to heal my Pokemon. Then he evolves it to level 26. Okay. It's take so I'm not gonna use takedown. I'm not um I'm not gonna learn takedown for Lyron. I'm not gonna lose any Pokemon killers, don't worry. I'm very careful with my Pokemon. The only reason why two Pokemon are dead is because of chat. Fuck you! Team with Joe. Sure, blame chat and set your skill. Yes. For this one, yes. Wingo. Oh no. Um. Just stop the Wingo. See if that works. Oh wow, one shot! Nice! Mingle is good. Check Fenpy. Okay, yes, I, w I will. I think... I think Fenpy just got something, if I'm not mistaken. So I will, I will, I will say this. I, I will say this, um, Mule Tank is pretty good. If only because it can heal itself. And I like that. Motherfucker. I'ma stomp you. How you doing, Nordic? Wow. 
Yay! She got to level 21! Nope. Okay, let me check. Um, my items. My Pokemon. What does... Oh, Fampi got something! What item did you get? Short beak! Nice. Okay. God damn it! Yeah, I got a dragon fang! Nice. Let's search for more treasure. Tail. It's random. Okay. Bends because skill issue. That's why bends. Skill issue. That was fun. The dousing rod was fun. You can use combo of defense curl and roll out. Not many people know this, but it doubles the power of roll out and ice ball. Oh, defense girl? I'ma heal my Pokemon first, guys. So, um, today's stream is gonna be focusing on trying to level up a Pokemon to level 25. And on top of that, If you can find a gym... I don't know when the, where the next gym is, but if you can find where the next gym is... That will be great! So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I just know, I realized that if you play a new game in Gen 6, you can't get hidden abilities anymore. Friend Safari is forever close. Oh no. That doesn't sound great. Oh, it's just past where you got a dousing rod? That's good! So, we know how to get to the gym then. So, we're gonna be spending our time farming over here, guys. This whole entire stream. Um, it is about time for me to take a break, though. Shall we just pause here and take a break? Let's do that. Let's pause here and take a break, shall we? Dun dun! Let's take a five minute break. The gym leader only has two Pokemon. Oh, I, I will. I should be able to crush him. Okay. Uh, let's go take a. Thank you for the head pads. Let's go take a five minute break, everybody, okay? So go get some snacks, go get some drinks, stretch your arms and legs, do some push ups, sit ups, go get buff. I'll see you guys in five minutes. Be right back. Oh shit. I just did something. Give me a second. <laughs> ah! Where's my be right back? Oh my god. I think I. Where's my be right back? Oh no. I did something dumb. Guys? <laughs> I can't find my be right back! Oh no! Wait, 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 wait! 
Where's my... Okay, I'm gonna pray and hope to God my period bike is there. Let's go. <laughs> Be right back!
Okay. Um, I got myself some matcha pokey. We are ready to go. Let's do this. Today's gonna be a very nice chill stream, guys. I doubt I'm gonna lose any Pokemon today. Okay. To it's good to use the dowsing rod because the dowsing rod would yeah it will give you like sample it will give you like items and things Lagging tail. What does a lagging tail do? Okay. Does the hidden items respawn ever or is it just a one and done deal? I think they respawn because I got a legging tail just now. What's this? I got a Mago Berry! Nice. Bell making bank just by farming items? Yes. It's a nice chill stream today, guys. Super nice chill stream. It's been a while since I had a stream like this. Oh, wait. What? Earth Blade again! I guess we won't be seeing anyone dead today. Yes. So, for the people who voted no. Better luck next time. Wait, actually, let me check. Um, Let me look at the summary. So. Will Bell kill Pokemon this stream? Yes, there were four people. Eight percent said yes, with two uh, k points. Um, Zerok, Mon Maniac, Ramen, and Balzar. Really, really, Ramen and Balzar and Zerok and Mon Maniac. Really, um, ninety-two percent said no. Also four users, but um, a lot of points here. Um, King Gumpers, D Green, Babo, and Coffee. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you guys for being awesome. Always using Gumba, thank you. I would have voted yes, but I was busy. <laughs> well, you saved yourself some points. Okay, Niv. Mm -hmm. That's true. You saw D Green die after he pissed off Founder. Were there no more items? Are there really no more items? No! No, I want my items! I want to get my free shit! Give me my free shit! God damn it. 
lied. Okay, get rid of the dowsing rock machine for now. Let's do this. The show ain't over until the fat lady sings. Okay, let's level up. No Pokemon is what we need it to do anyway. No Pokemon! <laughs> I guess the Pokemon are all scared of me right now, guys. They're all scared of Belle. They're like, oh, here comes Belle! Quick, hide! Skating on the sand, genius, I know. Not as great as Genius Kojumbo though, but yes. Still genius, all the same. What if we talk to this dude? There we go. Trino battles, let's do this. <laughs> rich girl Esteban! That does not sound like a rich girl's name, but okay. Holy shit. Three. Oh shit, bubble beam in me. That's fine. I gotta get rid of uh, Propinata. I gotta put Propinata in the in in the box, guys. He's level twenty five already. Because I want to I want to use him for. No, motherfucker! I want to use him for my um, fight against the gym leader. He's dead. Okay, we're good. Yes, you're done. Good level 20. <gasps> Benpi, good level 21. Nice. Okay, let's go back to the Pokemon Center. If only every battle will be like this, guys. I think we're good. I think we are in a good shape to beat the boss. We got this. <laughs> we still only be defeated one gym leader. <laughs> I'm literally fucking paranoid. Let's heal. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put in my spheal. So my spheal can also level up. I might as well. Actually! Actually! Um, maybe I should put in Lyron is level 22, Frappinata 25. I'm gonna deposit Frappinata first. Um, he's dangerously close to level 25. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put him in there too so that I can. Okay, so what I would do is put in the other Pokemon and level them up. Not these idiots. This one, yeah. Um, I got my spiel. Um, yeah. Hmm. 
No, I, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna take in Venisaur first for a bit. Hey, Venisaur? Wait, what? My party's full. Yvonne Eclipse, how are you doing? I guess. Power off? Been a while, how are you doing? Um, so I got petty and lied to me. Hmm. Kinda gonna put. Teddy Ursa up here. Yeah, you know, and snowball switch. Yeah, okay. This is my lineup, everybody. For now. I hope you're doing good. It's a very it's a very chill stream today. So everybody's lurking. We'll try to fight these trainer dudes. No, no, he's not a fighting um, trainer. Okay. Dun, dun. What about you? Okay, there we go. Is it gonna be a tentacle? Oh no, it's a blister! No, it's a shoulder. No! This does not look good for me. No, please! No! Motherfucker. Oh, shit. It's multiple icicles. No, stop! Paranoid. I will keep healing. No, not Icicle Spear again! I hate these. And, and, and my luck is always the worst. I will always get hit like five times. I'm gonna stomp on this motherfucker. He's gonna rue the day! He messed with me! Drink milk again. No. 
please. I just need to stamp him. Stomp him one more time. No. Icicle spear again. Okay, I'm gonna tank the icicle spear. I think it's okay. I think um, on my next one, I should be able to kill him. No! Just kill him! Oh, fuck. I used Icicle Spear again. Okay, this is good. My HP is restored. And now... I can kill him. And that was the first Pokemon. I still have another Pokemon to deal with. So this is not going great. But um, my mill tank is actually pretty cool. Um, Nate, how are you doing? My mill tank is actually pretty cool, I will have to admit. He, he's pretty tanky and awesome. I'm gonna use dispense girl. I was cur uh, I was cursing. Um, but I've seen the error of my ways. No thing is actually pretty tanky. He's he's like she's he or she is actually pretty good. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you? Um. In general, Nate. How are streams and everything? Are you about to stream soon? Yay! Okay, now let's uh, heal up. <laughs> Run back to the Pokemon Center and heal! Because this is how Belle plays. After every fucking fight, Belle just... Runs back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> if I didn't have the Pokemon Center, I would probably be dead by now. The number of times I would have used potions to heal. Oh my gosh. I would be broke. Looks like your normal Nuzlocke run. Is that what people usually do? In general, a bit burnt out. But it's alright, taking some time off. Yeah, that can be a very horrible thing for streamers, getting burnt out. I know how that feels. The closest thing I, I, I feel when I, uh, the closest thing I get to feeling burnt out for streams is when I have like nothing to say. But it's not because of streaming, like I said, it's because of like everything that happens in the day, it's not because of streaming. I very rarely get burnt out because of streaming. Most of the time, streaming is like a de-stressor for me. Uh, so, you know, it, 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 it is fine. But I get burnt out by other things. <laughs> you know what? Let's, uh, let's give Nate some hearts in the chat. It's always important to um, take some time off and re-evaluate life's choices in your choices reevaluate your um you know what you want to do with your goals and everything in life right and then and then get back to it right so no no worries feeling burnt out is a very common thing it happens to everybody not just you. It happens to a lot of streamers. And Hearthstone! No, what the fuck do I use Hearthstone for, guys? Is there a soft stone? Like, what the fuck? Advanced tips. Guys, pro tips! 
I see you can use, use the move rock smash. How does a notice board know that I have rock smash? Use rock smash to break rocks. And you'll sometimes find Pokemon to items. How does the notice board know this? I mean, I could have peeked from the other side. I could have gone on top of this like mini cliff here and get to the and get to this area. This is this is insane. It's fucking insane. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, everybody gets burned out um, for a variety of reasons. Um, streamers especially get burned out because you know it's just the stress of everything, right? There's a lot of stress with streaming too. If you're not careful, um, it's emotionally draining sometimes. Very, it can get very emotionally draining. And so I try my, uh, I try, I try very, very hard to stay. Oh, we got a new city, guys! You know what this means? We can catch Pokemon. Okay, um, but yeah, you know, you, you. Um, you get burnt out, and um, it's very, very emotional, emotionally draining. Yes, we get new Pokemon. If you need someone to talk about it with, it's always an open ear. It's not about me talking about it with someone. Uh, most of the times, if... Like I said, for me, it's different for everybody, right? For me, it's... Uh, it's just... <laughs> life. <laughs> Because it's, I'm just so busy, there's just so much work, and I, there's so much stuff to do in real life. Adulting can be annoying. So for me, it's just that. Um, for a lot of people, like I said, when it comes to streaming, it's got to do with like, it's usually very emotional. Um, it's emotionally draining to be a streamer. And especially if you're not like an extrovert, or if you're not, like if you're an introvert by nature, right? It's gonna be really hard. You you're putting out so much energy trying to talk to somebody and try and you're trying to communicate with like a bunch of people in your chat at the same time. It takes up a lot of attention span as well, right? You can try to catch Pokemon, that's true. So yeah. It's blurred up. I can't be a streamer. I'd make too many offensive jokes. But Singa makes you are a streamer. Yeah, just remember to always take breaks. And... Always keep your mental health healthy. Your, your, your mind healthy. <laughs> How else do I say it? Keep your heart and mind healthy. That's important. Whether it's at work, whether it's at, yeah. I know it's mental health, but it sounded funny to say, keep your mental health healthy. <laughs> you should watch uh, Sigan Mix's stream. Why am I not getting any Pokemon? Come on! Give me Pokemon! Do I not get Pokemon in this city, guys? Is that it? If I'm in the city, I can't get Pokemon? Is that it? Oh, I can't get up there. How the fuck do I get up there? Go fishing? Oh, that's true. I can go fishing. Alright. I can go fishing. How the fuck do I go fishing? Oh, thank you for the hit patch, Rod. Mm, do I use the... Holocaster? What is a Holocaster? It's a device that allows to receive users to receive and view hologram clips at any time. For a moment, I thought it was like a hololife thing. Don't you have a rod? I think I do. I have like an old one. Yeah, there we go. 
What's a sprinkler? Sprinkler? Oh, okay. It's a it's a watering can. Here we go. Yeah, let's use this. I had a teacher who tried to teach us that mental health is not real. What? That teaches out of breath. Oh no, I ruled it into snow. Oh no. Do I need to do this all the time? Let's go! Desperate need of a fire Pokemon. Fox Smash. Yes. Let's catch it. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, okay. We can, we can. Where's my balls? Okay guys, we got this, we got this, we got this. Growlithe is ours. Mm, my parents were kind of like, that whenever I had emotional problems, they just told me to pray. What the fuck? I mean, emotional problems are real. Only if you have a healthy mind, are you going to be able to... Okay, you know what? Give me a second. I have why not in there. Do I have why not? No, I don't have why not. Do you think I can do another rock smash with it not dying? No, I, I don't think so. I'm gonna try a, a great ball this time. Okay. Yeah. Um. Mental health is always important. Like, if you if 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 you're not mentally of a great of a good state of mind, you're not gonna be able to do anything well. You're not gonna be motivated. Yeah, we did it. Guys, we did it. We did it. We totally fucking did it. Okay, what name for Growlithe, guys? What name for Growlithe? Give me your names. Give me your best names. Yes, we are actually catching the Growlithe. How are you doing, Drew? He's a good boy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Minnesota Timberwolves. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know I have like 12 character limit. I mean, I'll put in Timberwolves, but... Timberwolf is what I'll put in, but yeah. A good boy. I'm just gonna put a good good boy. Okay, good boy. Next. Yes, who's got a shiny pink lichong? GG Chaku. Our teacher wanted to bombard us with overload homework and weekends. Yeah, that's not gonna help with anything. You know, you'd rather have a happy kid who is willing to learn than a stressed kid who is depressed and just wants to die. Like seriously. She did next I did not kill it. I mean it seems like common sense. I don't understand why people think that yes, let's load the kid more would help with anything. I don't I don't understand. Any other names for my lovely growly? Drew! Come on, let's think of her name for um growlith Drew. <laughs> Inugami. Koro? Koro chan? Inugami is also okay. Next. Fish? It's actually funny. <laughs> you know, we went fishing and we caught a Growlithe, right? We went fishing and caught a fucking. Um, <laughs> Akai. Akainu! Akainu is actually a good name. 
Although he's a piece of shit, but yeah, it's a good name. Gagosia. What's that? Okay, guys, start the poll. Go ahead and vote for what name we should give our Growlithe. Also, thank you for the hit press. Let's be real. Some people do find mental health by praying, but it's not for everyone. I agree. I agree, Penzer Soul, but I don't think that was said in good faith, though. I mean, given the context, right? I don't think that was said in in that you know oh you can you should try to pray you know um that might help you with your mental health no i don't think it was said in that like as if you know they were trying to help you with that no <laughs> you just cursed in tagalog did i i am sorry people from the philippines Sega makes his fault I thought you were writing gargoyle. I legit thought you were writing uh, like gargoyle. Um, since you guys tied it, I will go for. Um, I'll go for a kaino. See the double entendre there with the Akainu and Akai Inu. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if Niv actually knows what they were saying. Get me to her Pokemon Center! Yeah! Okay, this is where the gym is at, everybody. We did a great job. We did such a good job. Let's rest our Pokemon and let's redo our team to level up our Growlithe, okay? Let's see. Pokemon do I not want to level up? Maybe I'll take on Sfeo. Sfeo is awesome though. Fuck me, what do I not want to level up? Ah, I need to level up something. Mm. Okay, I'll take out feel for a, for a while first and put in the Growlithe just for a bit because um, the Growlithe needs to level up quite a bit okay so and then I'll put in Sphere okay let's go we got this guys we got this we're doing so good yay That's where the name comes from. It does. Panzer Soul. GG. Um, anyways, back when I was a student, I literally hate parents and teachers alike when they bombard us with too much expectations and so much workloads. Um, and once it takes a toll on physical and mental health, I quick to blame on hobbies and get banned from anime. Yeah, that, that, that's, some, that's what I think is BS. I'm, I'm gonna have to agree with you there, Benz. I will agree with you there. Them blaming your hobbies or whatever... Okay, you know, in maybe some regard, maybe if you're spending way too much time on your hobbies as compared to like actually studying for your tests or whatever, then yeah, I can agree with that. But for most of the times when parents use that excuse or, you know, teachers use that excuse about your hobbies, it, it doesn't actually um, 
it isn't actually detrimental, right? Um, what I will say though about the expectations, I think different people um, work differently. Like I work better if I had um, higher expectations. I think it's just easier for me to drive myself and motivate myself to work har harder. So I am fine with that. I like competition but that's just me but there's a lot of people who don't who don't like that and so there needs to be a consideration for that as well right not everybody has the same style of working everyone yeah everyone everyone has a different style how are you doing bad boy halo is a goody tuber how are you doing i'll just call you bad boy how are you doing I'm, I'm gonna go back to the rhino rhino area because I think the rhino area is a good place to farm. I'll take school is more stressful than work. Uh, you must be working in a nice place in a nice place, Spencer. So. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that all the time. It depends where you're working, what you're doing. If you're lucky, yeah. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had like a salary man job. Um, sometimes, I mean, you know, most of the time it is that kind of a job, but there are a lot of times it isn't and it's annoying. Frogadier! Greninja! Oh fuck, Greninja. Uh, oh, but it's level 16. Yeah, I can take it. I just need my... I, I need my Growlithe to level up, that's all. Enjoy school while it lasts! They're the best days of your life. No, they're the shittiest days of my life. Like I said, to each their own, right? Um, I actually enjoyed school. I mean, my work is fine. I'm, I'm happy with it somewhat, but... It can get very stressful. Work stress you get used to. Nine, ten, nine out of ten times is the same shit every day. School stress is different. Yeah, that's the thing. If it's the same shit every day, that's actually... I, I welcome that for work. My line of work though is not the same shit every day, unfortunately. You don't like competition. Yeah, like I said, it's different for everybody. Pyro! We got another Pyro here. I think about it objectively. You're 12 year old kid and you're being told that the exam results can affect. That is that is true. Okay, I'm not saying that that's actually a huge stress on your on, on yourself. Um I wasn't told that specifically. I mean I was always threatened with like uh I wouldn't, I wouldn't really call it threatened, but like, I was always told like... If you don't study well, your opportunities are gonna be bad later in life, right? I wasn't, I wasn't told like, this can... I don't know, the, the, the gravity of it wasn't that bad, I felt, for me. Maybe because my parents weren't too hard. They were hard, but not too hard, I think. I don't think I was like a problem kid in the sense of like I I I I actually liked studying. <laughs> I actually liked school. It was fun for me. So um I didn't have too much trouble with it. But I can imagine people, um, kids who, who do have problems with school and stuff and um with the way things with the way, you know, they're taught subjects and everything. And they get told that they have to do well in school, otherwise, you know, they'll be a loser for life. Then yes, that's gonna be fucking horrible. Am I really ramen? And at work, if you fuck up, you get fired. You can always get another job. I wish I could t have that, that perspective. 
depends your soul. If you fuck up, you can just get fired and go to another job. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry you had a very tough time in school. Ah, oh, Benz. Mewa! Yeah, I'm sorry I'm sorry you had a tough time in school. No, I am because I'm studying for a chemistry degree. See? I guess it takes one to know one. Ramen. Did he just wag his tail at me? Motherfucker, you're going down. How do you like my stomp? I only barely passed my degree, never again. <laughs> you do realize he called me- Well, you already called me a nerd. I might as well just go full force and do it. Do I barely remember all the shit that I learned in the game? I only remember how to, how to build a death ray. Because that's the important part I took away from uh, Villain Academy. How to draw, uh, how, how, to, how to make and build a death ray. Did I ever cheat in school? Never. I was the, I was the person people used my... Uh, people, people used my... Um, <laughs> used to cheat off my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> What's a sky battle with a sky trainer? Is this gonna be really really hard? I don't wanna you know what, maybe no. I don't know how difficult a sky trainer is. All that got me a job is my stream streaming is not my job, dude. I have a day job. Oh, I cheated like a mother. <laughs> really? People ask Belle for the answer key and she would just give them her test. I would. I couldn't care less. I used to care about, oh, if you're not gonna learn anything. But then I was like, you know what? You don't care about your, you don't care about your future. Why should I? <laughs> so I was like, whatever. You wanna know the answer? Sure, I'll give it to you. Jelly Sims? Doesn't affect Patty. Patty's really strong. I kinda like Patty right now. Sky Battle requires you to use a Pokemon that can fly. And if I remember correctly, some moves are restricted. Oh. So I can't use it. I, I can't do a Sky Battle anyway. Okay. Fair. I do not know, Panzer Soul. I guess it has a more than just an ethereal form. Tentacle! Yeah, tentacles did. Tentacle is highly sub highly, highly weak to my stomp. He just uh, he just gets one chocolate. Bye bye! There we go. Gestodon wants to learn the moon rain dance. Do I want to give him rain dance? What moves does he have? What is hidden power, guys? What is hidden power? Can someone tell me what, what hidden power's moves is? It doesn't seem like a good... Absorb. It's complicated. So I will not use hidden. I will not forget uh, hidden power then. I 
I will keep hidden power. And forget Rain Dance. I think Founder's sleeping. Just let him sleep. He hardly gets enough sleep. I'm actually kind of worried for him. He doesn't sleep at all on the weekends. He watches so many VTubers of the weekend, he doesn't even get to sleep. Oh no, it's Magma Duck again. I'ma stomp on you, Duck Duck! He's, in my, he's almost dead. He does have a butt head. You are right. He does have a butt head. His head looks like a butt. You're right. <laughs> oh no, I got burned. Okay, I need to heal my heal my patty. Yay, Patty's level 23! Patty's such a tank. <laughs> Thank you, Rhyhorn, for being an awesome companion! Let's go heal. I will not say it again. You make me say it once, I will not say it again. No, 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 not here. It is extremely difficult. To make streaming your job. Or was it you, Pencil Soul, who said that I was my job as a streamer? Yeah, it was you. It is extremely difficult to make streaming your job, everybody. You need to very few people get to be um I'm talking to Ben's not me, okay. Very few people get to um have that. Very few people. You have to be literally like a whole life standard to be able to have that as your job. Honestly. Okay, let's see. We've got Light to Me at 23, Petty at 23, um, Gestodon at 22, Fenty and Petty Ursa. So once Light to Me and Petty um, get to like level 25, we can put in Spiel and Venusaur to level up to 25 and then get these guys up to 25 as well. We're, we're almost there guys. There's a little bit more grinding, okay? Today's a grinding stream, sorry about that. Fenfi? Do you have things for me? Fenfi, dearie? No, Fenfi does not have things for me. Let's go. Hidden power has a base power that ranges from 40 to 80 and its type changes depending on your IVs and personality values. Thank you, Pentrasol and Benz. That sounds like an interesting thing to have. Grinding stream just means more bell chipping. I guess. I wasn't I wasn't talking about fun things just now though. Kind of depressing. Sorry, guys. How you doing, Kelamis? Everything I talk about is fun relatively? Keyword here is relatively. I've never seen this Pokemon before! There's a tortoise Pokemon? Tortuga? This is cute. He's gonna die. It's cute, but it's gonna die. Whoa! It has a slashy slash attack. He's gonna die. Oh no, it's not effective. I saw a different Pokemon. Check Estradon, see what happens. It's 
supposed to be extinct prior to the Sword and Shield DLC, that is. It's a fossil Pokemon. <gasps> really? That is so cool! He looks so cute! Look at the tortoise! He's very cute. I'm gonna try the hidden power thing. No, I wanna try the hidden power thing. Go! Oh, he's dead. Hidden power is off. I'm a little rough. I'm past <gasps> Oh no! I'm so sorry to hear that, Calamus. Guys, can we have some hearts in the chat for Calamus, please? I'm so sorry to hear that. My condolences to you and your family, Calamus. Hope you and your family get through this time um, soon. It's never easy losing a loved one. It's not. Greninja is so fucking cool. Look at how cool he is. He's a cool frago. But I'm a stomp him. Is that a mega evolution? Greninja? Guys? Yeah, I've had a lot of love and support though. That's good. How are you doing gaming, Hermit? That's good. It's always good to have lots of love and support during difficult times. Annoying thing about hidden power is that unless you have external device to calculate your stats and whatnot, you have to try it several times to different types to know what type it is. Oh. Well, you know me. I'm never gonna do that. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> pray and hope to the best. No, but that was an Ash Greninja. Which was kind of like a mega evolution. Oh, you mean that was an Ash Greninja? Is that what you're trying to say? My patty is actually really up, guys. I am actually very, very glad I got my meal tank. So tanky. Just look at that. We go backwards and we do the hokey pokey and we run this half of our that's what it's all about. Yay! You put your left foot in, you put your right foot up. Doing the hokey pokey with uh with right hand. Yay! Right gravel, gravel, right royal. Gravile. Gravile. Okay. You're doing alright? I'm glad you're doing alright. So the hidden power could be dragon, fairy, ghost, poison, or psychic. It's very cool. It powered up with the power of friendship with Ash in the anime, and it was a promotional Pokemon. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Put your left foot in, you put your left foot up. You put your left right foot in, and you turn it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around And that's what it's all about Yay! And then I got another fossil Pokemon Yay! <laughs> I don't even remember the words to hokey pokey anymore Keep stomping. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunately how big it will go. The um, the the bell 
Wiggle, Populio, Emo, that's the biggest it'll go to. Okay, it's no longer a cool Pokemon in Gen 8. Oh no. The Ash Greninja? Greninja- Ah, oh, no, 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 no! Fuck! Shit. Stupid turtle. Stop, stop rolling. Stop rolling. Please stop rolling. I'm begging you, stop rolling, please. Motherfucker keeps it. Use rocks, man. It's okay, my stomp, my stomp is great. Is this a normal Greninja now? Oh no. Kinda good look. <gasps> Flame wheel! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, what should I get rid of for flame wheel guy? What what is order slu sleuth? Sloth? Helping hand. I think helping hand is useless. Helping hand is fucking useless. Let's just get rid of that. And get flaming wheel. Um Yeah. Okay. Let's go heal up our Pokemon. Another Pyro. Sleuth? Sleuth? Okay, Sleuth. <laughs> we killed Nala. Body slam. Body slam sounds like a nice thing. Is body slam better than stomp? Guys? Is body slam better than stomp? Which one's better? Let me know which one's better. Stomp or Body Slam? Damage wise, yes. Why are you saying it like that? Is there a different wise? <laughs> Otherwise? <laughs> Besides damage. Otherwise? <laughs> body Slam is better? Check the stats. How do I check the stats? Body slam has a chance to flinch and paralyze the target. That sounds good. So stomp has physical accuracy. Okay. Stomp would also cause the target to flinch, maybe. This is much better. May leave the yeah, it's paralysis, not um it's not it's not flinching. But you know what? I'ma I'm gonna get rid of stomp. At least the hat picker just looked the same. <laughs> told me before that um, Miltank is gonna be my one of my main Pokemon in this particular game I would have thought you were crazy I would have thought you were 100% crazy body slam is good for Miltank yes no 
not a fucking Ekans. You know what? Let's test out the body slam. Let's test out the body slam and see what happens. My butt! I can stay. I was completely disrespecting the moo. It was my bed. I take full responsibility. Pokemon Center, so this dude's dead. This butt! He's dead. Milton's the source of PTSD for many Gen 2 friends, but if you know how to get around it, it's not that difficult. Really? Is Sweet Scent good? What is Sweet Scent? A Sweet Scent, a uh, Harshly Lowe's. Okay. What is faint attack? No. What's fake tears? No. So let's get rid of it. No. Okay, there we go. Kilava can literally use smokescreen on Mudslap by lowering its accuracy. It cannot set up rollout. Okay. I remember people crying over how hard Whitey was when I was like, bro, they literally gave you a matcha right in her town to trade with some NPC and his moves make Miltank flinch and you can't use rollout. No, no fucking clue. Not really, you have Fiend Attack that never misses. Okay. Yeah, I just I just checked Fiend Attack. Fiend Attack is, looks actually pretty good. Okay, we're gonna heal. I'm sorry it's taking so long. I get lost so often. And we're grinding right now. I don't think we can get to the second gym, but I think next week we 100% can. No, I did not get lost right now, but... It would be nice if I could level up my Pokemon some more. Do you think we can go? <gasps> Fenfi got something! Got a scissorite. What is a scissorite? Is it used to um to evolve scissor? What does a kaino have? Iron ball. What the fuck is iron ball? It's a mega scissor, mega evolve scissor. Ooh. Okay, what's what's an iron ball? Okay, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It lowers speed and allows ground type moves to hit. Flying type and levitating hold. Wow! This is pretty good. But my Growlithe is not ground type. It doesn't know any ground type moves. Plulzigs, how are you doing? How's my favorite goblin mafia boss doing? How are you doing? Most people never know 
never knew there was a matchup just basically handing you a guaranteed win. I wouldn't have known. It lowers your speed. Never lower your speed. Okay. I see. Okay, we will not hold this then. Well, just so you know, the holder is the one who gets that negative effect on the iron. Okay. I, I see you guys. Pretty sure the other half of is if held by that type. Oh. I see. Nope. I want to go back to my right horn. No, this is not the way to my right horn. Where's my right horn? Lower speed can be useful in competition fights if you have a trick room build. So basically, not for me. Got it. My right horn! Look at how cute he is. Ugh! Hoppity hoppity hop. You want to shake your head? Shake your head, please! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! <laughs> He's so cute. I love him. He's my favorite. I wish we got to ride him the whole game. I love the right one. It's adorable. Hello, J. Andrew boy! Thank you! At least somebody hears things I'm not pet on. <laughs> Bell chat would have helped you find that matchup. At least I would have on stream. That is true. You would have done that. I, I agree. You would have 100% done that. The strategy of using Iron Ball is a move that swaps your hold item to the target. Oh. Oh. And then they become slow. That's so tricky. Is it? Yes, it is a randomized Nuzlocke run. It's my very first ever Nuzlocke. Founder did this for me, Plozix. <laughs> this is my very first Nuzlocke run. I am not. Fuck you, Zero. You all are blind, Iron Wolf. As long as you can deal with the frustration, Nuzlocke's are actually crazy addicting. Um, it's... It's okay. I mean, it's fun. I guess... Okay, okay. This is what I will say. Nuzlocke makes the game a bit more fun. Right? It's not just like... Um, it's not just like, you know, your usual Pokemon run. It makes it slightly more uh, challenging. Which is great. Right, I'm I'm playing a randomized Nuzlocke run, which is great. It's it's refreshing. Um, so far it's okay. Yeah, it's thinking you think yes. Um, so far it's okay. But when I lose Pokemon, I get really fucking upset. Um, I lost two due to negligence because Chad distracted me. But otherwise, we're doing great. There's also discipline in sticking to the rules, yes. Stealthy made Poggy's emote. Booba is there, yes. Thank you, Kelly Mix! Yes, thank you, killers, for, for commissioning that. I do have that emote. It's there somewhere. On 70. Nuzlocke shines more as something to stream than play on your own if you are a relaxed casual player. Yeah. I mean. I will say I am enjoying it. It's not like I'm not enjoying I'm actually 100% enjoying it. You have a pocket. I, I, I saw! I saw! Calamus, I saw! I did not comment on it because I've been really bad with my DMs. I think a lot of people have been DMing me, but I've just been so fucking busy. Like today, I spent fucking four or five hours trying to solve my PC um, TV issue um, because I'm dumb. Um, but yeah. Otherwise. 
I saw. It's really cool. I think a lot of people will like it. Since it's like slime, slime girl. Bell plays Emerald Kaizo Wen. Um, I'll probably get to it. Um, I do want to play the all the generations of what's Kaizo. I, I, I do I do want to get to all the generations of uh, Pokemon, so I'll get to it eventually. On stream, all that I played were um, Sword and Shield. Uh, the generations that I played were uh, Generation Eight with Sword and Shield. I think is Nine Scarlet and Violet. I played that. Um, I played Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. We played Colosseum um, Gale of Darkness. Um, Arceus. Um, now this. Um, is there anything else? That yeah, I haven't played a lot of the other generations yet. Um, don't play Kaizo. <laughs> Emerald Kaizo is a mod of Emerald that someone made. It just makes the game brutally difficult. I would highly recommend not playing it. Yeah, I probably would not. <laughs> difficult and me do not... Uh, we're not in the same sentence. Nope. Oh, Patty, 25! Okay, no, 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 no! We can't, we can't... Guys, no, no, shit, shit. Okay, we can't use Patty anymore. We can't use Patty anymore. Patty has been such a fantastic Pokemon. I love Patty. But we can't use Patty anymore. Fucking Ekans. Fuck you, Ekans. Fuck you. Emerald is really hard enough. Is it is it really hard that hard? I will say this game has lovely music. I like the music in this game. So far, out of all the Pokemon games that I played, this game has very nice music. I love it. No, right now I need to go back to the Pokemon Center because I need to trade out my, my Petty for uh, another Pokemon because Petty is already level 25. So I'm gonna run and not do anything here. Coffee's being cozy. Oh shit, no! Rhyhorn! You got this, baby! Yeah, I'm actually really upset. There's no Rhyhorn race. I'm actually really, really upset now. That would have been super fun. Look at me! Galloping on my gray horn! It's so cute. Platinum and Emerald have difficulty spikes. Platinum. Was Platinum the same generation as... Uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? That was the same one, right? So which one was Platinum? I was under the impression Platinum was like the third game. You know, usually when, when, when uh, Pokemon releases the generation, they release two games. Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, and then Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Oh, okay. Wait. So the Diamond Pearl is one generation, Platinum is another generation, and then Heart Gold and Soul Silver is another generation. Is that what you're saying? Oh, sorry. I, I I know Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are remakes. So you're saying, wait, 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 wait. It's all Gen Four. Okay. So Platinum, Diamond, and Pearl are Gen Four. Okay. Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl were remakes of Diamond and Pearl. Platinum was the third game in the original Gen 4. Okay, yes. Thank you, Pearl 6. <laughs> yeah, okay. I got it now. I got it now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Sorry, it's 1.30 a.m.? Logic has gone out of the window. I 
will be stopping soon. I just want to grind a bit more and then I'll stop. But yes. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's get to this. Beep beep boop boop. Beep beep boop boop. Okay, I'm gonna take out my milk thing, deposit it. Right here. Beep beep boop boop. Um, we got one more spot, so I'm gonna put in my continue operations now. Beep beep boop boop. With your Should I get in spiel or just get my Venusaur up by one level? Yeah, let me just get my Venusaur up by one level. And then um, what I will do is I will... I'll get my Venusaur up by one level and then change it up to spiel. That's what I'll do. Casimus. Bill, do you have any movie recommendations? I hardly watch movies these days. I will recommend Law and Order though. As a TV series, it's it's been great. I I recommend the first 16 seasons. You have a lot of um things to binge. I got zero deaths this run. Shut up, killers. Don't feel bad about DMs. I know you're busy. Okay, no worries. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will get to them eventually. If I'm especially busy, it just takes me a while. I recommend the first 16 seasons. Yeah, the first 16 seasons are great. Um, Jerry Orbach was in most of them. Woo! Oh shit. Let's use Fain again. Ah! Oh, that doesn't work anymore. What should I use with Teddy? Fury swipes? Fury swipes? I prefer criminal. But shame on you! Iron Wolf, Law and Order is better! Uh, I should use fake tears. What's fake tears do? Fury swipes? No, SVU is not the best law and order. Fuck you. The original one is better. SVU is okay, but I like but I think the original one is going to be better because um I'll be honest. Um I haven't watched SVU yet, but from what I've heard about SVU, I mean, I've heard it's great, but there is less of the courtroom drama, which I actually like. It's mostly the the police detective. Ah, no! And see, no, Plulzix! That is a death rayable offense. No, not NCIS. Not that fucking shit. No fucking way. What? Uncultured. No. Law and order, guys. No. Y'all looking to get fucking death raid? Yeah, there's some, but not much. That's what I've been told. Trial by jury is the best. I agree. I find it extremely addicting because Singapore doesn't have trial by jury. And I find it extremely fascinating. I'm got I'm gonna get out of here. Listen, listen. I'm careful about NCIS, but I do care about pretty god. <laughs> Yeah, maybe what's something that don't make much out of your brain? Law and Order doesn't make much out of my brain. Law and Order is great. I love it. It's fantastic. It makes me feel great. Um, 
The Wire was the best though. I love The Wire. So what happened was I watched The Wire. I watched all this, the seasons of The Wire, completed The Wire. And then there was a gaping hole in my heart and I had to fill it with another like crime drama. And then I found Law and & Order and now I'm addicted. That's basically what happened guys. They don't have a goth wife. That's true. <laughs> Shut up, Sigamix! This is a say so stream! Okay, so I need to dump um, Venusaur in there because he's level 25 already. Yes, I can't. I can't. I can't use Venusaur right now. I need to save him. Okay, so now I can level up my Sveal. Um, no. Uncultured chat, yes. Old Doctor. <gasps> Doctor Who is great. Metlock? Are you a grandpa, Calamis? Are you a grandpa? How old are you? 90 years old? Fucking Metlock. I love Doctor Who. Um, I have not watched the latest seasons of Doctor Who. Um, but that dude, what's his name? <sighs> okay, give me a second. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you who I've watched for Doctor Who and who I thought was great. Doctor Who's list. Okay, so um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Doctor Who's... What was his name? Give me a second. Who's the dude who played Barty Crouch Jr.? What's his name again? David Tennant. Yeah, he... I, I like him. Uh, give me a second. Uh, Doctor Who... Doctor Who actors. I'm, I'm, I'm googling right now. Sorry guys. Give me a second. List of actors who have played Doctor Who. There we go. Um, okay. Give me a second. Let's look at this. Where's my YouTube? Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. I'll pull it up. There. Okay, it's hard to see. But let's look at this. Ellie McBeal. No, Ellie McBeal is pathetic. Yeah, Tenant. Yeah, Barty. Yeah, I like Matt Smith. I like Matt Smith. I love Doc. Iron Wolf? Doctor Who does not suck. Fuck you. I can't believe you guys. Fucking uncultured today. What is up with you guys? Give me a second. So, um. Okay. So. No, not this dude. Is this the dude? No. Who is the dude with like, uh, what's her name? Yeah, Christopher Eccleston. He was actually a pretty good Doctor Who. He's so old now. Yeah, he's a good Doctor Who. I liked him. I, I, I liked David Tennant. He was great. Loved him. He's actually one of my favorites. Matt Smith was great. I actually loved Matt Smith as, a, as, as Doctor Who. I did. But um, more than Matt Smith, I actually loved his uh, companions. Uh, Rory and uh, whatever, the two of them. Um... This dude, no, I think. It, mm. Wait, David Tennant came back? I did not know. No, not this dude. There was another old dude who was really good. No, it wasn't him. Was it? Ah, no, there was a really old dude who was actually pretty good. I don't, I just can't remember who it was. Hmm. Anyway, there was another old dude who was really good. I don't know who it was. Anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> Peter Capaldi was that the dude? Okay, that that might that might have been the one. There was an old dude who was really really. Peter Capaldi was that him? Yeah, I think it might be him. Let me see. Yes, this is the dude. This is him. Yes, this is him. Yeah, he's actually really good. Um, 
yeah, these are the good doctors that I've seen and I like. And after that, I did not watch Doctor Who. So I do not know about the amazing, uh, I do not know about the rest. So Doc David Tennant is basically 10, 11, and 14, okay. <laughs> if you want to watch something brain did, just funny, I would rewatch some episodes of Malcolm in the Middle. <gasps> Malcolm in the Middle is actually really funny. I actually really liked uh, Malcolm in the Middle. I did not like Jodie's direction. Jodie Whittaker was good with the shit that was um, written for a doctor for Chip Mel. I, I did not watch her. We're almost leveling up everybody except for our Growlithe. Growlithe will level up slowly. This is good. This is good, guys. Here we go. The only good doctor is House. I have not watched House. I actually have not watched a lot of shows. I'm currently engaged with uh, Law and Order. I'll let you guys know when I'm done with Law and Order. And also, I'm not watching Law and Order in order. <laughs> I realized it rhymes. I'm not watching it in order, guys. I'm just watching it as and when, as and when, um, whatever season I feel fit. I see like, oh, okay, this. I feel like watching this season. Then I'll, I'll watch that season. The buff of Jim. I'm not. What, Babo? I actually haven't seen her in a while. I think she goes to like a different uh, gym now. She used to go to a different gym, I think. I think. That's what I've heard her say. She doesn't come to my gym very often. I mean, not the brunch that I go to. I haven't seen Buff Girl in a while. No, I, I know which gym she goes to. I mean, she talks about it very loudly in the gym. <laughs> but uh, I don't go to that one. My membership does not extend to... Uh, my gym membership does not extend to other branches. Um, the, the ones with other... The membership that extends to like the various branches, that's actually a lot more expensive. So there is a like a branch hopper kind of like... Membership, I don't have that one. Because Law & Order is better than Criminal Minds. Grow while. Yeah, you can kill Grow while in one hit. Oh shit. Fury cut the thing is very, very annoying. But I think he's. yeah. No! Grass can't do anything. Fuck. Uh, Lyron is rock, right? Or is it steel? Can someone tell me? I keep forgetting. Is Lyron rock or steel? What type is Lyron? Everybody? Please tell me. Both? Oh, he's rock and steel! Yeah, grass got nothing. On him. Okay, I, 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 will, I, will, I will tell you guys this again. Again. If you're looking for a good crime drama, watch The Wire. It's excellent. How dare you poison me! Fuck you. Grass would have a lot to say if it was just rock, really? I didn't know. Mudslap this motherfucker. I did not know that. It does not make sense. I love Leftovers. Leftovers is awesome. I can just do like a normal tackle and tentacle will be dead. Yay! 
Okay, as soon as Lyron gets to 25 though, he needs to go in the box. We're doing a good job with the leveling up everybody. I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied with how much we're leveling up all our Pokemon. Soon we'll have a good database of uh, Pokemon for us to choose from for our gym. Which is great. Dun, 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 dun. That's actually pretty good considering it's a Nuzlocke. What is O powers? Sorry for lurking too much. No, it's fine. I I, I vaguely remember O powers. But I, I vaguely remember this. I feel like we have discussed this on a previous Pokemon stream, but I can't remember what what it is now. Like, maybe a couple of weeks ago or something. I feel like we have. Can't remember now, though. <gasps> it's a turtle again! He's so cute! Did you guys know that in a number of religions, as well as um, fictional, tech, uh, uh, fictional stories, um, the turtle is usually carrying the world on its back? Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that? Um, I think Native American um, as well as uh, the Chinese. Um, also, I think the Indians, like uh, the Hindus, um, as well as in fictional works, uh, the Discworld series. Um, yeah, the turtle the, the turtle is a mystical, wise creature that carries the world on its back. Did you know, guys? I recently found that out. Because I'm reading the Discworld series, like I said. The Discworld series is great, guys. You should totally read it. It's easy to read. No! Fucking hell! Okay, it's not effective. That's good. It's fine. It's fine. I have lucky. Do you know Bell? Sam for a bit. I know. I know. I know. I just want to grind a little bit more. Little bit more. Little bit. Little bit. Little bit. O power is extremely useful skills given to you that may up your experience money a little bit. Where is this O powers? I'm sorry. It's getting slightly addictive to grind this motherfucker evaded it on a hit button and no amount of protect is gonna protect the not turtle fuck you i much slap you Opai no, no, Kalamis, no, it's not Opai powers. No one said anything about Opai powers, okay? Kalamis, no, this is a say so stream. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We can just go now. Uh. I think this is a good place for us to stop. Uh, next week when we start, next week when we um, when we play Pokemon, we can um, one hundred percent um, go to the next gym, and we can start off with the next gym actually because the next gym leader only has like two Pokemon, right? We have quite a number of Pokemon here, so we can go challenge the gym leader and go to the and, and carry on with the uh, next part of the um, story okay everybody
nothing beats watching two rock types fighting using normal types move. It's almost like watching correspondence chess. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Um, I think that's about it for today. Let's see who we should go raid. Let's go. Oh! I have someone we can go raid. We actually haven't raided them at all. And they have raided us quite a number of times. So, this is actually a good opportunity to do like a revenge raid. They're currently playing some Final Fantasy X. So, and they're playing the boss. So, boss fight. So, you guys can um, go cheer them on. We're gonna be raiding Astral Sky Blue. So, let's go kill them with Sons of Kindness. Okay, everybody? Uh, yeah, they're playing some Final Fantasy X. Uh, we're gonna go raid Astral Sky Blue. That's their name, Astral Sky Blue. They have a very cute VTuber model. I think you guys will like it. Okay, um, so here are the raid commands. If you are subbed, you can use this one. If you're not subbed, later, Phantom. If you're not subbed, you can use this one. If you're subbed but don't want to use the first one, you can use this or this. Take your pick, whichever one you want. Um, let's go kill Astral Sky Blue with tons of kindness. Um, I will be streaming tomorrow for... Um, we will be playing some Gartic Foon, so you guys are more than welcome to join in, as well as party games. So stay tuned for that. Have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful start to your lovely weekend, everybody. Stay safe and stay evil. I will see you guys tomorrow.